Hello, everybody. We're going to have you all mute, Hello. please, um, while we're going to start recording. Please, everybody mute. Hello, Ivy. Hi, Bruce. Welcome. All right. Welcome, everybody. It's Friday night. It's the 30th of August of 2024. You're on Let's O, a night out with the stars. And tonight's topic is, have you heard? We played that video prior to doing this because I was hoping more people would be here and maybe they didn't get a chance to watch uh, Marty, Chris, and uh, Red on 360 when it played. So I wanted to replay Ash's part so uh, everyone could hear it. So now what I want to do is, you know how we're always talking about Ash talk, it's language. So I'm going to ask Marty DeGarmo to give us the read between the line Ash version. Go ahead, Marty. Well, you know, it really didn't take a whole lot of uh, translation. He was pretty, he was pretty clear. So um, I didn't say anything to anybody, but I was kind of nervous about the data because that's very valuable. Um, I mean, you can look it up on Google and Companies are responsible for people's data. And obviously things went far south with our company, but thank God, Ash has a few very, very loyal tech people that's been around for a long time. Uh, they worked around the clock. Sometimes they slept there to get all the data, get it all put back in. And, and I really wanted to, at the time, when, when he come in and said it, I, I had chatted with him a little bit the day before, and I, I knew something was good, something good happened, finally. So tonight was a big deal when Ron was doing this, and I shared it absolutely everywhere. We've already got a couple thousand people watching it on YouTube. Um, but I, I wanted to find out from the tech guys, because they would understand the data. Well, before I could even call him, Collins is already attacking me. Hey, Marty, 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 Marty you got to come in. So I, I talked to the tech guys. They were so excited. They were speaking in African. Okay, like I, I, they were blown away. And they felt the same way I did, but they know how important it is. Mike Ellis even said to me, I wonder what the tech guys are thinking, you know, because... It, it's a big, big deal. It is who we are. Now, you can take any website, right-click with your mouse, and it'll show you the source code. That's not the data, really, that I'm talking about. That's the structure of the, the page on the outside. But the internal, where you have names and emails, uh, how much money you have made, who, you're, who, who you have invited in, uh, it, it's, it's a big, big deal. And you always hear about looking for a needle in a haystack. With data and coding, it's like looking for a needle in a needle stack. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. I started working on a little bit with uh, coding, and I mean very little. And you would leave out one little symbol, and it was shot. And, and you're going, I don't get it. I did exactly what they said. But I didn't. I left out one little triangle or something, and the whole thing was a mess. Everything was off the page. The colors weren't right. I had stuff written on the top, nothing on the bottom. I went, oh my God, how can I mess it up? I went step by step. One little code. So the value of that, because with that, with that structure, and, and I really want you to go to one of these crazy tech guys, because they can tell you, uh, I know uh, Collins is an actual um, coder. I believe he's a coder. And Vincent, well, he's a maniac too, but he's he, he knows all the security and all that. But anyway, database stuff is who he is. In fact, all of them, if you put them together, are perfect because <laughs> they all have their special fields. But no, I, I, I know that when it happened, I was thinking, first thing I thought to myself, what about the data? I mean, what about the code and 
all the stuff that was put into it because that's what you see. The finish, the finish, the finishing of a code is when you go to O-Connect. That's where all the code came together correctly. That's where you get the, the squares are perfectly lined up. If somebody comes in, the squares get smaller and everybody's even. They're all even on the page. Uh, when you add something, it doesn't push anything off. That is, it's a masterpiece. It's not like we think. So I was really, really happy. And when Ron said what he was doing tonight, him and Minno, I thought, you know what? I've I've heard enough bad news. I want to get together and celebrate some good news. And that was really, really good news. When Ash dropped that and afterwards he thought, you know, he, he was that enough. I said, Ash, he blew it, blew it away. That that people can understand that part of it. And thank God the, the tech people came along a couple of years ago to break down because even if they're not working in on passive, they understand the process of what it takes. And uh yeah, I'm I'm blown away and I'm glad everybody's here. I sent videos out about this webinar in Hindi to India. I sent it to everybody on the YouTube channel. So just, I want people to be here. I, Mr. Mufaro is definitely going to try to be here. Uh, he's he's busy, trust me. Like, thought he was busy before. You know, he's doing this and cleaning up a mess and, and making a new, you know, masterpiece, I should say. So anyway, that's all I really have to say for now, but I'm sure I'll be talking more. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Thank Marty. you, Marty. Hey, Would you put it on the speaker's view as a host, please? Sorry. I, I did. It, it was definitely an ash bomb on 360. Yeah, it was. Definitely. Small one. Bigger ones are coming. And talking about the tech guys, uh, let's go to Collins and uh, have Collins talk a little bit about it. Well, one second. I just want to tell Minna. Minnow on YouTube, it is showing speaker view. So that's all we really need to know. Like like uh, I think Eric said earlier, to you, you can put on whatever you want. Okay, I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. Go ahead. That's all right. Collins, uh, are you there? Yes, I am. There you go. Thank you, guys. Hey, um, Let us know what you think. Yeah, so honestly, it was really a great day for me because that was... That has been my worry, especially when they shut us down. We've been talking with Vincent, Oliver, Bob, and then spoke to Maddie. My greatest worry was the source code and the data. Said, are we going to retrieve it? And if not, because this we, we are talking about six years of hard work by the programmers and the database developers and administrator putting everything together. And just imagine in the twinkle of an eye, they tell you everything has disappeared. Seriously, it is something that it was really giving me, especially I was just thinking about everyone, was really giving me sleepless night. And when Ash came up on 360 and said, we have 100% recovery of our source code and data, I was just like, thank God. Because sometimes we talk, we think about infrastructure, but a lot of people think like, well, what about the rest? The two things that builds a company and IT industry is source code and your data. Infrastructure doesn't mean anything because you can get it. Though it costs money, yes, the servers and the hardware cost money, but what will the hardware do to you if you don't have the code? You've lost everything. I remember last time I shared with Oliver, and Vincent, when I lost a yeah, month of work, everything wiped out. It was just like the foot, hot seat under my foot, hot fire under my foot. Couldn't sleep for two days just to see I can recover it because it was just like a mess my whole day. And then we're talking about, thank God they recover it because I discovered that it was just in a bin where I can bring it back. But just imagine it's gone. It means my one month of work disappeared. And then we're talking about six years of a lot of work. Okay, let's look at source code. This time we talk about the data. You know, what is source code? When Ash was like talking about source code, what is really a source code? This is the programs. You know, we're talking about the programs in a simple way. 
all the old connect, the old mail, the old years say we have go founder, we have O founders, all of those programs, because we see in the application, but there are programs, the code that is running behind, the code that they develop, you know, writing all those code, all the functions, everywhere you go and click, for instance, it is there. All of those things in a twinkle of an eye disappear. What can you do? You can't do anything. And with two of them, you're talking about the data, you're talking about source code. What can you do with the data if there is no source code? Because this is something that we humans, we interact with every day. We're talking about our Zoom. We interact with Zoom. You try to log in. You know, that is the, the code running behind to give you this application we are using as Zoom. Take the source code behind, there is no Zoom. Take all the code, what the program have written behind, no Zoom, no image, nothing. So all of this data now go to database, which Vincent will, Vincent will talk about. But just the coding part of it, it's the hard work they put on day in, day out, writing all those programs, all the functions, everything. And all this go, especially to the database. Now somebody just go and push a button, corrupt everything, you know, delete some of the code. Then that's a big problem. And you don't have a backup plan. You know, you don't have a backup and say, what if this happened? Where do I get all of this back? Thank God, only God knows how this Ash Mufara and the team, you know, a magic retrieve everything. Because we're talking about, you know, let's be frank. He said, AWS shut us down. All these things, they were all in AWS, you know. And if we say there is something that happened behind the scene and they shut us down, for you to get it back, you need to fulfill an obligation to AWS, Amazon, to give you every information. If not, they'll tell you we are, you are not getting access to our to our database or to our server and data center because AWS is data cloud hosting. We are not giving you any information. Go to hell. That's what they will say until you fulfill. So you need to find a way. So most IT companies always have a backup because they have internal server. They have a lot of things where they can, you know, they can have, they can retrieve all of those information. What if there was nothing? You didn't save it. You didn't have a backup. What will happen? It means everything will just go down the drain. You have to start to build it again from scratch. Imagine we're here six years, you know, counting, and they tell you you have to go back and start to rebuild everything from scratch, all the data and everything. I'm telling you, maybe most of us will say, you know what? We are not here. We don't want to wait again for the next six years. But thank God I say, you know what? We have recovered everything. And that was what really made me, I was so excited. And I said, I don't care about the laptop. I don't care about the infrastructure. We have the, the, the core is back. You can take it and put it anywhere with new infrastructure and everything is there. So I'll leave it there. I think Vincent will talk about the, the data. <laughs> yeah, Alex, bro, thank that, you. that's, thank that's you why I'm much, so man. excited because we are back in hey, business. I think we all are. And thank you for your... Uh your input about it and thank you for joining us tonight no it's late over there hey hey ron and, uh, ron can hey, i Dan, ask, i mean uh mike yeah can i ask him a quick question i think sure. it's pertinent and i think it's on everybody's yeah. mind yeah <clears throat> collins we we know that that we've gotten 100 percent of the data everything that that we need we've gotten how long does it take to take that that data that we that that ash recovered and put it on a new platform and get it out there does it take days, weeks, months? How long does it take? Yeah, so let's say they'll get like new infrastructure because now it depends on the infrastructure where they want to host it. So we're talking about going back. Say we don't want to go to AWS. Vincent will explain this. They said, all right, we're going to Google. You know, now you need to start to buy space. What do you really need? Because it's not like going buying everything waste of money. You just said, okay, we need A, B, C, D. That's the infrastructure you need, hardware everything. So it just depends on how fast you want it and how they can just host it because now you have it. It's just like, let me put it this way. You have your USB, right? Your USB is a backup. And you yeah. say, now I want to copy everything over to my laptop. Plug it in because you already have the information. You plug it. It can take a day. It can take two weeks. Depend on how the company, the third party, because now Amazon is a third party from us, how the negotiation will go and what they will do, and then they host everything back. So it can happen very quickly. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, thank you, Mike. Uh, I'll add a bit for what Colin said, because to copy the data, it depends on the volume of the data. So let's say you have a one gig of data you want to transfer to any area of your system, and then someone have 10 gig of data. So you see that the one gig data will go very quick, maybe within a minute, but the 10 gig will take time to to, to copy to another size. So it's the same thing, depend on the, the size of the data. If the data is big, it takes more time to do it. And then on passive, in case of passive, we have like six years of data. So all everything, all our product, we like um, Oconet, Omel, all this, they are all data. So the, that's the side of this. So let's say you want to copy all this to a different location. So to copy to the different location, first of all, you need the, the, the size of the data and also the, the bandwidth that you will copy to. It depends on if you are copy from, let's say like example of Collins say earlier now, if you are copying data from USB connect to your laptop, you copy because they are instantly connect together is fast. But let's say if you are using a network, you copy from my location here in London to your location in maybe US or anywhere in the world, it takes longer because the distance of the transfer. So to transfer data, the, the network involved and then the speed and the data also involved. So this is the thing that you need to do. And then also the storage drive, because if the storage drive, the SSD is quicker to get the information so quick. But if the whole fashion, this drive, it took also a long time to restore the data. So this is the information that will involve for the transfer of the data. You know, you guys are getting very technical on how you transfer the data, and I appreciate that, and I understand it. But Ash Mufar has told us it's, it's happening in September, period. So whatever you guys say, whether it takes a month or two or three or five or six, Obviously, he's already started if it takes six months because he's he's absolutely positive that it's going to happen in September. So although I, I appreciate the the technical view that you guys have, it's important for people under no, to understand and know they can take that 100 percent of data. They can't put it on a new platform and they can't get it out to us in September. Uh, and really, that's what most people want to understand. Um whether it happens yeah, the yeah, first Michael, week, second week, third week, I, I don't know. But, no, Michael, uh, you, are, you are right. So we just we just trying to explain, you know, the technicality of how to transfer data. Like I said, and Vincent is saying, it can take one day, can take two days, can take one week, and we are all, we are back on, you know. But again, it's something that I think Vincent is familiar with because sometimes Vincent stays the whole night when they're doing data migration from one platform to the other. But now. Is something that can take, we're not saying a month to do all of that. Like I said, it can just take a week and we are back on. Gotcha. Yeah. Thank you. It's exciting. You want to uh, speak a little more, Mike, about what you think? Why don't you turn it over to Dan first and I'll come in uh, last, Ron. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Dan, you want to come on here and give us your... Your your lovely knowledge. Not really. Have you hear? Did you hear? I just want to listen and learn. <laughs> That's all. No, I I take a pretty conceptual view of a, a, a lot of this. I, I listened to Ash, and he said uh, he said the things that we've all been waiting to hear. And what I did like is that he was uh, not dwelling on a lot of the negatives of the past, but he was. He was looking forward to the future and he was excited. You could really tell that he was excited about where we were heading. And, uh, you know, he, he told us our sites were down as a result of mismanagement. They're no longer with us. We like to hear that. That's pretty cut and dry. It was intentional. We knew it was intentional. And it got, because it was intentional, it got a little bit more complex than he originally anticipated. So then he, he tells us that we've recovered 100% of the source code and the database. And everybody took it. Now, Collins and Vincent, of course, they know what that means a lot more than I do. I'm just going, yes, that sounds good to me. Because I know, I know in an elementary kind of view that that's very, very important. 
And then when he said, well, we can build a new infrastructure anytime and anywhere, that to me meant that because we have the source code, 100% of the source code, and because we have the database and it's been recovered, that we can take that and do it anywhere, anytime. And then on the other stuff, uh, we, we will continue to battle. And there's a lot of other little obstacles that he's cleaning up that we, we have to, that he has to clean up, you know? And so we just have to be patient as far as that goes. And, and you know, just, just thinking about how he has cleaned up on passive and he's got that, that real hardcore team of people in Hyderabad and other places that are doing tireless work. And he appreciated their dedication and their commitment. So when we, uh, when we look at, uh, he, he, I, I like this confidence. He said, we should be back on track in September and we don't expect any surprises. You know, in, in, in other webinars, a lot of times Ash would say, well, we, if things go the way we plan, well, he seemed very confident that, that we don't expect any other surprises. And this three month or longer scenario is, is uh, down the tube. So he, they're, they're working on something and, uh, and they're comp they have been working on it, let's say. And I'm very confident. I, I, I was very inspired by his message. It was short, sweet, to the point. And they're recovering all the technical and logistical aspects of the business. Uh, you know, and, and then those responsible for the delay will be held responsible. So that's being handled. And, uh, and, and then, the, then, then just hearing that there's going to be drastic changes with a positive curve. I, I like that. And a new dimension of our business. I'm excited about that. I think that, uh, you know, we've been in kind of a lull and, uh, you know, the mismanagement at the top and the, the corruption and a lot of the challenges that we've experienced are in the past. And we are on a new dimension in this business. And I'm very excited. I was just thrilled with Ash's message. So that's that's what I have for tonight. I mean, I'm just I'm pumped like everybody else. You're right, man. Me too. You know, I when we saw us talk about the ABC scenario, he had a top, he had a hard time to me, the way I saw saying that C part. He didn't like that C. Okay. He wanted that A and B. And when he came out on 360 and said, we're only doing A and B now. C is gone. That was like, that was like turning on a, a floodlight to me, you know. So I agree with you. Absolutely. 100%. Agree Absolutely. With you. Let's have Mike follow up with you. Mike, are you ready? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm ready, Ron. I, uh, I have a little different viewpoint than than what you just said, Ron. The C is what got me really, really excited. And although Ash said that the C is gone, I don't think it's 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 gone. It's just in the future. And it's the things that Mr. Mufara and his team are going to be doing as we move into you know, November, December 2025. Uh, so C, I got very excited about C. And, and if I would have had to wait until, you know, whenever, uh, I, I'd have been fine with that. But, you know, Mr. Mufara... Uh, and Marty said it, Dan said it, the, the, the tech pro said it. He was very, very specific uh, on the last 360. There wasn't much there that was coded. I mean, everybody here ought to be very, very excited about September because September, everything starts to happen. Now, there were a couple of things that, and, and, and he said it late, you know, maybe maybe minute 14, 15, whatever it was. He talked about a couple of things that if you understand what he was saying, you get really, really excited about what's happening. And the one word he used was was the logistics. The logistics were were taken care of. And when you hear that, you go, okay, well, that's that's nice. The logistics are taken care of. No, that is massive. The logistics are everything, not just one thing, but everything. And when he said that, the logistics are taken care of. What that does for me, it takes me into the future. And, and that's where we all want to go. As, as on Passive comes out, comes out, they do the launch, everything gets back up, everything starts to flow. 
all of a sudden, each and every one of us has that has a business that we can actually start working now and working in a really, really big way. Because the logistics are done, because there are no issues, because everything will flow, literally you can you can start to dream. What are your dreams? What are your expectations? What do you want to do? Where do you want to go? And I've talked to quite a few people on this panel. I know what their dreams are, and they're just not little poo-poo dreams. They are massive. And, and and that's where the fun starts to come in because now you can you can start to be creative. Unpassive comes out with with OCreate. Unpassive comes out with uh, OConnect. Unpassive comes out with with different different scenarios, different traffic scenarios. Unpassive comes out with all these things. Now we get to come in and we get to put them together. Now, obviously, let me mention this before I get, before I go crazy. <clears throat> As you come into Unpassive. And, and I know there are a lot of people out there that don't have the, the, the skill sets that a lot of you all have. And as you come into Unpassive, Ash talked about this. He said, the structure of Unpassive is going to change a little bit. So I can't describe what that structure is. I don't know what it's going to be. But I do, what, I do know what Mr. Mufara said. He said it's going to be better than anything you thought. It's going to be better than what we had six years ago, five years ago, four, three, two, one years ago. And you're not going to be disappointed. It is going to be absolutely awesome. And I look forward to the day when 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 he shares all that stuff with us. And now we can go out and tell the world about Unpassive and exactly what it is, where it's going, and how it will how it will affect them very very positively. But when I get back to the dream side of all our dreams and and what we're going to be able to do, that's what gets me excited. I, I know some of the dreams that are here the things that we're going to be able to do, the things we're going to be able to share with people. You all, if you're not a marketer, you don't know what's coming because it's bigger than anything I've ever seen in, in, in my whole career in business. Because of what Mr. Mufar has done, because he got all the data back, because he's going to be putting it up and the things that we're going to be able to do, whether you're a seasoned marketer, or you're not a marketer at all, there, there will be things you can do to get to that place where you have that financial security, that financial freedom. So listen, to, I mean, I probably talked more, to, I probably talked more right now than Ash talked the whole time, but they're the little things that he said that will set you free. And logistics is one, the logistics is just one of them. <laughs> but the logistics side of it, when he said that, I went, Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're home, baby. Let's get to work. So I'll turn it back over to you, Ron. Oh, thanks, Mike. I, uh, I agree with that version of yours too. That's good. You think of it that way. You know, let's check out some other countries and what they think. Uh, Daniel in uh, Papua New Guinea. Do you have service there? Daniel? Daniel, what does Papua New Guinea think about this, what we're hearing? I have to unmute, Connie. Yep. Daniel, you need to unmute. They have really poor service. There you go. Can you, can, okay, sure. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, that's a big question. Have you had? Yes, Ron, we had you loud and clear. We had you, Mino. I'm going to give my perspective. I, we are not technical here. So let me express myself. I will speak from my heart. We have had you all. Let me mention a few names. We have had S. Mufara. We have had Mati Digamo. We have had Mike Ellis. We have had Dan Street. We have had Michael Williams. We have had Chris Johnson. We have had Dr. Bill Williams. We have had Collins Mana. We have had Bob Takushi, Vincent Ete, Oliver Fonte, Engineer Michael Ojung Tambia, Charles Ozong, Mohammed Kamal, Red Redfin, Jeffrey Mollock, not forgetting our women, Susie McRae, Julian Nguyen, Lynn Nakamoto, 
Comfort Comfort, Gladys Miaboro, Narrow Wakan, Jean Oliver, Patricia Parent, Dr. Benny, and Mino. And I can go on. These are the people we have had you in Papua New Guinea. The message is loud and clear. We don't know the technical aspects of one passive, but we know one passive is going to deliver. There's no doubt about that. Uh, the technical side of it has been broken down. Thank you, Collins. We understood we had you loud and clear. Uh, we had got no doubt. We have trust the process. We will still hang in there because we know from day one that on passive is our solution. Even though we struggle, but we know we, some of us here, for me, it's almost four years. But it doesn't matter. I've spent my working career for over 30 years. But if I'm being patient of my working career for 30 years, four years with on passive is nothing. I've had the message loud and clear. On, uh, on passive is a uh, beacon of our hope, is the solution. Thank you very much, yes. Thank you, Mati. Even though we don't come on so many webinars because of so many factors, some of us are connecting. And like I mentioned all your names, because these are the people that we come, we get inspired, and we continue in this journey. So like you, Ron, and Mino, for this uh, platform, this is also being helpful to educate us and so many other platforms that we connect online. Even though you don't hear us, but we are connected. We trust everybody. We are a family. We are a movement. We had everything loud and clear. So we got nowhere to go. There's no other signing objects out there. It is on passive. On passive is the solution. It's been had loud and clear from the dead of this country to the remote place, the jungles, the remotest place in this country we have had. And we will still remain. We remain positive, And we know even though those things happen, but it only is a stepping stone for us to put his foot solid down on the ground. It makes him become better innovation and move forward. And we know it's going to deliver on his own time. We are with you, Ash. We are with the whole family of us on Passive. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Tech Team, for your, your heart for us to come on and explain and break things down to our layman's term and we can understand better. Uh, I'm very happy that uh, I was uh, invited to come on this platform to speak on behalf of my brothers and sisters here in Papua New Guinea. And I know some of them... Please, I will speak in pidgin. Please, I am good. All this laman, all, you go pass lo yumi. All you go pass lo this la business. All you can, you must have on them all. Ask them all now. On passive, give him, give me one of something, give me wait long him. Those people I mentioned, the names, they are like a cloud of witnesses around us. They have gone ahead of us in our business. They have experiences up and down. They have gone before us and they know. So we just have to listen to them. And we just have to be patient and follow them. So all I can say is thank you. Thank you very much. I'm still remaining connected. And I know on passive is going to rescue us. Uh, time is not a factor. We will wait until things will happen for us. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, Mino. Thank you, Mati. And thank you, Mike Ellis, Dan Street, for all of you who come in here and try with us. And we can continue and build in knowledge in this online business. Thank you very much. That's what I got no. to say. Wow. Thank you, Daniel. Amen, brother. And uh, we think about you guys and we pray for you guys over there. And uh, we're all we're all in good shape right now. And uh, it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be OK. It's going to be OK, Daniel. Definitely. So thank you. Definitely. No doubt. Um, you're invited. All you, Anyone there is invited anytime you want to come on. And uh, there's a lady that came on here. I haven't spoken to her in a long time. And let's hear from Ms. Comfort. Comfort, what's your perspective? Thank you, Ron. Thank you, everyone. Hi, Minu. Yeah, I just jumped on because I was not sure. I did not know that this session was on, but I just found out that it's here and I popped in. I'm not, I've not heard what many people have said. So if I repeat anything at all, then it's just for emphasis. So I think the excitement is real. Listening to the CEO the other day, and I went back again to his body language. You know, this is something that um, he, when he came out and was telling us what he has done so far, he does that on a straight face and he's so relaxed. And it's to me, it sounds like, yes, I knew that this is where we were heading to anyway. 
So there's no need to be excited because it's, to him, it's just normal that he's there where he is, even though it means everything to us. So I think I just add my voice to him to say, yes, it was just a matter of when and not if, because we know exactly where we are going to. So it's all, it's guaranteed. The future is guaranteed. The future is bright and everything is definitely working as planned. So like I will say this a million times, sometimes we think that there have been twists, there's been delays, there have been stuff here and there, but then Ash is not God, you are not God, I am not God. It's working as planned by God because what Ash is do doing, I'm not good at history. If someone ever did it before, but in our generation, this is the only one we know. Many people are fighting this both in and out and stuff like that. But if it keeps going and going and going, it means that we'll get there. And of course, the few people who have stuck behind Ash because they have an idea of what he is seeing lying ahead of us. I think that uh, we are stronger now than ever before. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Comfort. Your words. Thank you for, for coming in. We'd love to see you anytime. Let's go to Bangladesh. Before you go to Bangladesh, may I say something, Ron? Sure. Um, sometimes you see excitement gets to you and your voice is loud as comfort is and is yeah. just so sizzling everywhere. Mm -hmm. Sometimes this excitement and confidence and joy takes you back. You hear how calm comfort was, but she's like a swan like underneath like really excited but this is the calmest i've ever heard you thank you comfort i'm glad yes. you're here me back to you yes. thank you thank you Mama. um miss ava give us uh bangladesh's perspective on what we're what we heard Thank you, Ron. Thank you, Milo, for having me here. Hello to everyone. Um, the excitement that is here is, uh, you know, the basic what we are talking about. Have you heard? Yes. I mean, when Ash spoke, we all heard. And what he said, it really touched us because uh, I felt that no matter what he he is really going through, he's not letting us down. That's for sure. He's not letting us down. He's had so much of a setback, so many things, but he's taking us there where we need to go. And um, I'm not a technical person, so definitely I cannot speak on those terms, but I do know this much that um, he's shepherding us like a flock he's the head of us, all of us and we really really uh, will be getting our reward for waiting and all that we need to do for humanity as everyone knows what Bangladesh is going through right now so that in itself you know will be a great great help for everybody so thank you Ron thank you Mina having me happy much anytime you know you can come on anytime and uh i see that v is here uh from uh australia also p and g so uh what's your perspective v you're still muted There you go. Hi, everyone. Thank you. Uh, good morning, uh, Oron. Thank you for the invite. I'm really, really honored to be here. Um, yes, I have heard. I have been hearing. And um, my perspective or my thoughts on this is that uh, preparation, preparation, like um, drastic, dramatic, and positive uh, changes are upon us. And are we prepared is the question. And I'm really, really, really excited. Very, very excited. I'm just telling myself, have I done this yet? Have I done that? 
um, I'm just pretty much um, tying up the loose ends, if you like. Uh, so it's just upon us. We just don't know what's going to hit us. Because uh, as Ash uh, said, that is just drastic, dramatic, and positive. So I'm nervous. I'm really, really nervous that I'm not uh, prepared enough on the things that I had uh, set out to do. Uh, not only for my immediate families, but um, everywhere else. All the people that I'm uh, in touch with, in connect with, I'm just getting everyone together and making sure that we're ready. We're ready for this change that's going to be hitting us in the head if we're not ready. So I'm really excited uh, for the future and uh, for the old world uh, that we will be um, behind Mr. Ash and what his vision is, is very clear as well. So uh, yes, exciting times are ahead of us and I really concur and I piggyback on what my uh, brother Daniel Sani had mentioned for the people of Papua New Guinea. Uh, Maya also advised to them and to everyone else is to be ready, to be ready, uh, just go along smiling and do what, need, what you need to do with a big smile on your faces and uh, stay positive and uh, be excited guys. This is exciting times. So yep, thank you very much uh, Ron uh, and Minu for having me on here. Oh, yeah. Thank you for uh, be for making time for us. We don't get to see you off and we appreciate your presence here. Thank you. This is going to be an amazing, it already is an amazing evening for us. Thank you. Yes, yes. Thank, thank, you, you. thank you. Thanks for being here and thanks for sharing. We appreciate it. Staying out there where the big rabbits are. Let's hear it real quick from uh, Miss Norell, the author. <laughs> Uh, yeah, something different every week, Ron. Thank you so much. Thank you, Manu, uh, for allowing me to be here today. You know, I've listened to everyone and um, there was a couple of things that I write down. Uh, one is, uh, Daniel Sani, um, this, you, you in Papua New Guinea and many other um, countries that have uh, disadvantaged in what's available to you, whether it be from a technical point of view or just from a standard of living, this is why Ash is doing this. And this is exactly why he's so happy that he can continue. The relief on his face the other early morning for me um, was just incredible. I actually physically felt it. So, I, you know, I think each and every one of us have been carrying Ash, you know, without literally carrying him. But the the weight of what he has had to go through and put up with and just that everyday consistency of trouble or people, um, you know, going against him. One of the things that I'd spoken about here um, on maybe different platforms is a, a trust. And coming from a background of, you know, mental abuse and stuff like that, uh, one of the things I found the hardest was to trust. Um, I don't know any of you in a sense, but I had to learn to trust each and every one of you for what you were saying. With Ash, absolutely, you know, you trust that you ride this little roller coaster of emotions with him, uh, trusting that he has those right people with you, with him, sorry. And then you feel different things along the way that you go, oh, you know, like, mm, is he doing the right thing? You know, are the decisions that are being made because you you know yourself, decisions in your life that you made, um, you came out the other end. Uh, however, you went through that, you know, that little uh, <laughs> in life, okay, and you had to rely on other people. I think many of us, uh, probably 99% of us, have stood there with us, and I do support him. I loved when he went, phew, because to me that was wiping the crap away and throwing it to the floor. It's done. We do it or die, and that really stood out for me. So, um I think, you know, basically that's it. Um, it was just a sense of relief. I think you, we can finally feel it ourselves. This is it. We finally can do this. Um, it's not that we never could. It's just that we are there now where we stand firm and 100% with Ash Mafara and say, let's do this. And we're there for you, Ash. And thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Narelle. Thank you very much. No worries. We're there with you. 
Listen, while we're over while we're overseas, let's hear from uh, Thailand, Casey Zellenbergen. There. Yep. Uh, yep. Okay. I'm. I'm all right now. Hey, thank you very much, Ron and Manu. And Manu. It's great to be here, guys. I've uh, I've been I listened to uh, Collins and he sort of explained all the technical side to what's going on, which is great. Thank you for that. And and of course uh, the other uh, technical guys that are here today. Um, have you heard? Uh, look, I I heard a lot of great things last. Uh, what was it Thursday? Uh, here in Thailand, it was very late Thursday. And what I've said is, he's really, uh, well, he's made me feel an awful lot more comfortable than uh, I guess myself and a lot of others have felt uh, over the, uh, the the last few weeks and months. And uh, I'm so happy that he's uh, brought everything uh, back together and uh, we're almost ready to go. So I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm fully, ex extremely excited. You know, I love Ash. I love what he's doing for, for everyone here. He's had an extremely hard time, I'm sure of it. I think about it a lot, and I think, oh, my goodness, uh, what's going on? Ash, you must uh, you must have a headache every morning when you wake up. That's if you're sleeping. So, uh, look, I'm very proud to be part of On Passive. I've been on, with On Passive for, for quite some time now. I think it was five years and eight months not long ago. And, uh, you know, I've, I've taken this journey very seriously because I can see at the end of the day, we're all going to be in a, an extremely good place. So, uh, yeah, thanks, thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone, uh, for coming today and making this a great show. Uh, you know, some great faces, some great speakers, and I'm really happy to be part of On Passive. So love you all, and thank you so much. Good evening, everybody. I'm sorry I just got home. How's everybody doing? Hi, Casey. Ron, Hello, everyone. You're muted. Thank you, Ron. Thank you. Back to you guys. Sorry, Casey. Okay. Hey, Casey. Hey, Manu. Sorry, I just got home, guys. How was your night? That's okay, Sharon. This is being recorded, my dear. Um, Ron, you're muted. Okay, Sharon, thank you. Sharon, I'm going to mute you, darling. Yes. Miss Ivy Mix, professor, doctor. Uh, scholar, what is your perspective? Good evening, everybody. Hey. Um, I just want to say hello to everybody. And um, it's always nice to be among great people. It's always nice to be among great minds. There's no separation. There's no, we are all together. We are all one. That's how God made us. So coming together is very important for me. And being able to rally around a beam, a fire. We just finished the Olympics and they were carrying a torch. They were carrying a flame. There has to be a flame to rally over. And we have rallied around the right person for the right reasons. I just want to say thank you to God for that. Um, every day I tell myself we love Ash endlessly. That's the word, endlessly. There is no stopping and I just want to say thank you for him coming out on the 360. And he's shown us that he cares for us. When somebody has three plans for you, just like um, Mike Ellis was saying, a C, a B, or A, that's powerful because we're just coming from being let down. But because he was forward-looking, because he was looking ahead for us, we didn't have to cry. We didn't have to suffer. That's a great, 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 great leader. And I just, I'm just so happy that September is a month to remember. And I just want to say that to be a winner, as he is, you have to be in a competition. 
A competition is no rivalry. You need a competition to win. You need one, two, three, four people to be one, two, three, four, to be first, second, third. I just want to thank God that we are still in the race, just like Colin said, to have kept all those data. To have kept all these things means that we are in the race. It means that the competition and the winning is real. It means that spectators would watch and they will see him win. To have to be in a competitive market, you have to have other people watching to applaud you. And I'm so thankful that we did not lose. When he spoke, my heart was happy. My heart was like um, Dan said, you know, your, your heart just goes, you just feel good. That's how, that's the word. I was just feeling good. Apart from feeling proud, I was feeling so good. And that good feeling, I could see it on his face. And I just want to thank Megan. I think I have a feeling her name is Megan Good. I, I, I hope, or Michelle. She takes these pictures of Ash in, his, in the best moments. And I'll be looking at these pictures for somebody who captures you at your best, at the height of your joy. I always watch that. So that day when I saw Ash, the way he was relaxed and the way he carried power in the confidence of the turnaround, I was very, very pleased with it. And I just want to say, Ash, once more time, we love you endlessly. And the, the path that you have taken for us, I just want to say thank you. And I just want to say that you are winning and we are clapping and we are all behind you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ivy. Thank you for uh, sharing with us. We appreciate it. And now let's go up to the lovely Gina Leva, who has been traveling a little bit here. Now she's back and... Uh, she can get back oh. in the groove here. I am back. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, Minu. Oh my gosh, everyone that's spoken. This has been spectacular. Um, when I think about like, have you heard? Yes, I have heard. And I've also felt, and I think uh, what I felt from Ash on, on Wednesday was, um, was several things. And the first one was a sense of triumph. And the reason I say that is over the past several months, um, the phrase from scripture, which is no weapon formed against me shall prosper or against you shall prosper. It's just, it, it was just like a mantra in my head, almost like a um, manifesting that no, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And then on Wednesday, it was like such a feeling of triumph of, of, of that being absolutely manifested. And the next feeling was, of course, relief, relief that all that data, all that hard work that these teams had poured their heart and soul into for the last six years, it wasn't lost. It was it was absolutely recovered, saved. It's there for us. It's going to be paving the road ahead of us again without any loss. And that sense of relief is just so so palpable. And then of course, the last feeling is that excitement for September, as Mike said. I mean, if if it wasn't September, I'm perfectly fine with that. It could be January, it could be whatever. But to know that in days, we're going to be in a month that's going to transform our lives and, and, and Ash's life and his dreams will be fulfilled. And I, I just find that so so calming, like comfort, you know, just that a calm excitement, as Minu said, it's just, I, even when we were uh, on earlier, when we were all coming onto the panel and it's just this quiet companions, companionable, calm presence of family together, knowing that our lives are going to change. And it's such a, a peace which I don't know where you find that, but in a place like on passive, it's so beautiful to me. And uh, so for me to be, have, have having been gone this past week and to come back to that, 
is just, it's very emotional. It's very exciting. It's very, what I like to say, happy making. It just fills me from the toes to the, to the top of my head and beyond. And I'm so happy to be back here with you because you, we are, are what's moving this forward. So all the success in the world could come to one passive in September, but without our hearts moving it forward, it will not do half of what it, what it plans to do. So I'm just so excited to be here. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, Minu. And, uh, and I really look forward to everyone else that's going to speak. And Marcianne, I see you there. I see you there, you beautiful girl. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. Thank you all. And Daniel, thank you so much for that beautiful shout out. Um, our hearts are with you in PNG. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jean. I just saw a lady pop on screen and she popped back off to hide. So let's get her back on screen. Julie Wynn. Julie Wynn, come to the screen, please. You can run, but you can't hide. Hello, Ron. Hello, Manu. Hey. How are you, sweetheart? I am well. How are you all? <laughs> gosh, good. What's your especially perspective out you, there in California? Especially, Ron, you. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. Tell us your perspective out there in California, IA. It's always beautiful and sunny in California. The weather is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'm so blessed to be here. But yes, um, your topic today is, have you heard? Uh, yes, I have heard. I have seen. I have envisioned. I have connected the dots. And, um, and I'm here. I'm still here. And you are still here. And everyone's still here. Um, amazing how... How sometimes when you get chopped off by your knees, th there's nothing else you can do, right? But, but but just think about this. When you are, maybe mommy's on the meeting. <laughs> when you are being chopped off or being injured or being hurt, and when you go to the doctor or the emergency or you got surgery done, most likely, it's not the doctor, it's not the medicine that heals you. It's your will, your, 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 your willing to heal and your willing to get it through that heals you. How many stories have we heard in our life that we didn't think that we we're going to make it? However, we did. And what we have been witnessing in the past years with our company, on passive with our CEO and the team behind him has been doing and going every moment of their day. They have decided to be here. They have decided to say, I'm gonna join you and I'm gonna make sure that this mission, this vision, this mo movement, I have that problem with that word this movement will be at the destiny as a destiny where it's supposed to be and no matter what it will be there and that commitment is so huge it's it's so huge and when it comes to the time when Mr. Mufara said you know I'm in charge you know what he did he has always been in charge. However, his trust in the good heart of people around him, that has put on passive in this moment of time. But because of the, the commitment, not only by Mr. Ash Mufara, his incredible team, but is also all of the early birds we call ourselves founders, brand ambassadors, users around the world have seen this vision and we are committed to be together. And for me, that is the will. That is the will of saying, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna see this happen. And friends, as we all witnessed in the past months that we got chopped by the knees, but we are still here standing. 
because of our willing to make it through. And that is the will to heal. And, and, and that's how I see, that's how my perspective. Ever seen that Mr. Mufara, and I say this a lot of time in my life with Michael William, ever seen that I could understand Catmo. I have seen that vision. I have seen that big picture of on passive. And there is not a moment in life where I am shattered, not a moment in life where I said, no, it's not going to happen. It is going to happen because we get to see it. And to be honest with you, I get to see it. And being here, whether on screen, off screen, I live on passive. I live on passive and we are here. We are living that dreams. We are living that mission. We are living that movement. And therefore, my perspective is I am going to see it come through. And it's not a year. It's not a day. Or it's not a, a 10 years things. It is going to happen this month, next month, the month after. It doesn't matter. It has already have been. Let's ask all of us who are watching this right now, has on passive make a biggest impact in our life? And that's the perspective that we should take and look at. And I wanted to take this opportunity to thank you, every single founders, people, friends, the people that have gone through our social media, gone through um, the Julie and Milo show, has gone through the heart-to-heart -heart conversation with me or with other people. I want to thank every single one of us here because of you, Julie Nguyen here, has that confidence to go out and speak what she believes in and also has the opportunity to connect with other people around the world and share their stories. And their stories is what brought me that confidence, that trust, that commitment, and now that loyalty to not only Mr. Ash Mufara, but on passive. And you know, thank you Comfort for letting me being there with you the other day where we lay out the connection, the trust, the commitment, and the loyalty that not only Mr. Ashmofara to ourselves, but from ourselves to Mr. Ashmofara. It's an incredible relationship that we all have here. And no way that we can find it anywhere around the world, but in on passive. And to have that conversations, shining the lights in the chair, what Comforts is doing, what Narelle is doing, what Marcians is doing, all of us get to listen to the message from the people around the world. And especially in my heart to heart conversation, we just sit together and we spend time just to chit chat with each other. And the conversations are beautiful. And every single one that show up on that conversation has never mentioned about, oh, I'm going to go buy a boat. I'm going to go buy a new car. I'm going to go buy a new house. But all that they are sharing is the dream. I dream to take care of my family. I dream to take care of the people around me. I dream to, to lift up someone human spirit. I dream to sit down and spend time and listen to other people because at the end of the day, all we got to do is spending that time, that valuable times. And friends, no matter the data that was stolen or no matter what, it all coming back. And when I seen Mr. Ash Mufara show up on the last 360, I don't know if you've seen it. He looked great in white, by the way, but I've seen the glow on his face. And to me, that is very important because all that belong to us has already come back. Whatever meant to be ours will always be ours. All it needs, it's time for it to come back to ourselves. And no matter what we lost, it will be found. And so that's my perspective. And I can sit here and chat, but I would like to have someone else is coming up. And thank you so much, um, Ron and Manu, and everyone that shared before me. Thank you for being here.
thanks for coming, Jilly. We've, we've missed you, and uh, it's good to see you again. Hope everything is all right with you. Uh, Thank you so you much. Usually, usually Friday is when my daughter is on the court with volleyball. That's my joy. Right, That's right. Joy. But today she's ill, so she's oh, late, <laughs> resting. So thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to really share my heart. You're more than welcome. More than welcome. Thank you. Now we have another, we have a party lady on here. I mean, she has got to be the party, party then, most woman that I've ever seen and heard of. And she dresses really cool looking. Okay. So let's call on... Uh, I think her and Mama do share outfits or something there. But anyways, uh, Marcin, unmute and talk to us. Marcin. Well, hello, everyone. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, okay. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much, Ron Amino. What a great webinar. And like you, you said, you know, uh, this is part of my life. Actually, I'm having a, we call it uh, our traditional convention for the year for North America and Canada. So I just left the hall because of this meeting. The compassive is part of my life. So whatever I do, I have to put it in the, in like my priority. That's why I came and sit in my car to listen to you all. So the dress tonight is my traditional, uh, an outfit for my country. So we are doing the cultural event tonight, and tomorrow is going to be a gala event. But that's not what we are here for. We are here for, have you hear it? Yes, I did. That's exactly why I'm sitting here. And uh, I hear it, I feel it just like everybody said, and I believe that I'm in because when uh, you have somebody that is, is running the race, and uh, you can be at the corner to just clap for him, giving him a bottle of water when he's passing, it means a lot. It means a lot for the person who is running. And uh, if I'm not here tonight to keep giving that bottle of water to our CEO, it means I've not done on my own part. I cannot do what he is doing, but I know what he's doing is for all of us. The little we can do, is to cheer for him and to say, go, we have your back. If you are thirsty, when he pass around, this is a bottle of water. Take it, keep drinking and go. That's all we can do. And I am so happy. I know that uh, my brother colleagues have said about it. My, the OTEC programs, they talk a little bit. I did not hear what they have said because I was not connected then. But I always believe that they know the good part of it. And uh, they will always and light it to us in many ways that we can understand it better. But can I feel it? Yes, I feel it because since our CEO came out and spoke yesterday, uh, on Wednesday, 360, on Thursday, yeah, 360, I mean, even if you were sleeping, there would not be a moment that you would not turn around and say, wow, what is going on there? You can see, you can feel the, 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 the lighting in the heart, the lighting in the heart, the lighting in, the lighting in everything that he has been telling us for some time. When you see a CEO come to us and he speak until he sweat from his face and put it down, you can tell that he has gone through hell. But what happened? Because we are cheerleading behind him. Because we keep giving him that bottle of encouragement, bottle of water, and keep drinking. Say, so drink it and keep moving. Keep going. We are here. I think it means a lot for him and for us also. So I'm not just happy because we are there. I'm happy because finally he can have a little five minutes to breathe before continuing what he has been doing for us. I know breathing is not too much for him because I don't know how he does it, but we are just now knowing that all the things that he have gone through is almost is is ninety percent halfway done, and he have not done that. He have not gone through all of that for him or his family. He did that basically for us. That's why every day our commitment for us that we always there. We look at that vision and we look at the fact that he's doing all of that for us and for our family and to uplift and to make our dreams come true. We cannot just not hear it or we cannot just sit quiet 
when he come out and say what he has said. So kudos to him. Thank him for everything that he has done. And uh, we know that it's a lot of bargain, but we promise him that we will be behind him. And together, we will keep sharing that bottle of water when he's running around the field and tell him, drink it and keep going and upload. You, we are with you. Thank you so much. And good night, everyone. <laughs> thank you, Marcian. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go up to our friend, Mr. Eric Chesler, real quick. Eric. What's your perspective, buddy? Man, I, I'm just going to say ditto to what everything everybody else said because that's <laughs> how I feel about it. You know, I I was so happy for Ash that the thing that I, I love most about him is, is he's so transparent. He never comes out, sugarcoats anything. He tells us exactly what it is. And I know there's times that he's had to tell us stuff that he didn't want to or like to. It's just the way it was, so he had to. But on this last this last 360, you could tell that how much enjoyment he gets in being able to tell us the good stuff. You know, like the the codes are back, the data is back. You know, the track the train is lifted up and put back on the track, and we're headed in the right direction. Um, I just love him for that, and it, it meant a lot to us. I mean. He has a way of making you all excited, um, but calm at the same time, because you know we got over that hump and the train's moving in the right direction. And you always feel a lot of responsibility for Ash because you know that he wouldn't have been going through all this if if it wasn't for us. Maybe who knows? He might have gave up, but he he just kept pushing forward because he made a promise to us, which he didn't have to do, of course. So that, that always meant a lot to me. The second thing is that I wanted to say is I only got two more months, about a little over two more months until I got my five years in. And that's, I appreciate on passive and that's exciting to me. It's a big deal. Not that I did anything, but that, that I fortunately by, by, I don't know, intuition or voice in my head or whatever, got me to come into on passive and on passive found me and has changed my life and uh in more ways than than you know you could say it's like Narelle talks about we we didn't all know each other to start with but now we got so many people here that we can trust and and appreciate and uh we love to hear them talk we love what they do to, one of my favorite of course is Mike because he always makes me get a little bit more excited about the future and what, what the possibilities are. And, uh, and of course, I appreciate everybody that's talking on here. And it's so good to see some of the people I haven't seen in a while, like Caroline. I haven't seen her for a while. If you know Caroline at all, you'd love her. I mean, you know, so many people on here I care about. So I'm glad for my five years coming up. I'm going to uh, celebrate that. Um, and I know that's just the start, just a drop in the bucket. but. Uh, I just wanted to bring that out. So that's about all I have to say. Thank you, Ron and Manu, for letting me speak. Thank you for being here, Eric. I think you're getting closer to buying that Corvette. <laughs> yeah, okay. So <laughs> let's go down to uh, Mamadou. Mamadou, Mamadou, how are you, Mamadou? Oh, my goodness. Oh, Ron. Let me let me make this case so you can see me well well. Thank you very much, Miss Mino, and good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all my beloved family. Wow, yes. Have you had? Yes, I have had perfectly clear. And since I had that word. Though I was there, but I make sure I replay that tape more than 20 times. You know, it's like a song for me. Because I know finally our big brother will take a sigh of relief, a deep breath. Because, you know, trying to do for somebody, trying to uplift somebody, you know, that's a weight 
Mr. Ash has in his mind. And any stumbling block that he has, it weighs a lot on him. And for him to have that sigh of relief, oh my goodness, I was so happy there. And because of that, I don't have nothing to say, but just to thank, first of all, thank God Almighty for what he has done for our big brother. And thank Mr. Ash for being so steadfast, so committed, and so dedicated to make sure humanity being uplifted. And I also want to thank the technical team and all the staff that has been working with him day and night, having sleepless nights, just to make sure that humanity are uplifted. And for all the founding members who have been behind him day and night, some of us are working, but yet, we find time to be together, to share our commitment, to, to uplift our big brother, Mr. Ash. And I thank you all. You know, um, right now I'm at work, but I am so happy. Okay. And I pray that God Almighty will continue to guide us, protect yeah. us, and bless us all. God bless you, Uncle Ron, for allowing me to say something. It's always a pleasure, Mamadou, to hear you speak anytime. Yeah. Even though we mess with you and we tease you, we love you, brother. But um, let's see. Um, there's another country that we haven't heard well, from. We have a special and guest as well. Waiting on a camera. Okay. So, um, it's, it's it's a country called Georgia, Georgia, I think it is. Caroline Mackey, what do you got to say real quick for us? Okay, thank you, Ron. Thank you, Manu. Um, I just want to say that there have been a lot of questions that have been going through my mind lately, just running through my mind. I really appreciated when Ash came on three sixty. I mean, it was such a relief such a relief to hear him, to see and to hear what he had to say. Um, I'm gonna go through some things that are questions in my mind, whether I'll ever get these answers or whatever, but maybe one day if Ash, if or when he ever writes a book about his own passive journey, maybe, maybe some of these questions will be answered. But um, one, one thing that I was thinking about was where was our data? Was it at the Amazon data center? And when we retrieved it, did it come back to the own passive data centers? Um, so is it safe now? Is it secure? Um, does Ash know all who, all the ones who caused this and Ash, are there others? Um, I want to commend all the individuals, especially the engineers who've been very loyal and support supported and that have supported Ash through this debacle. And it kind of reminds me, you know, like in heaven when a third of the angels um, went against God. And it's kind of like internal sabotage is kind of reminds me of what's happened here. So from a spiritual perspective with Daniel, Daniel talking about the cloud of witnesses, um, Cloud of, cloud of witnesses are the ones that surround us and encourage us to run the race of faith. And to me, this is proof that God has his hands on not only us, but on ash and on passive. Y'all, I mean, we we need our prayers because there's power in prayer. And I think that that if we pray and, and we ask God, we know that God's got his hand in this. And for the individuals who've done this, who have caused this, um, your sin will find you out. And obviously it did find you out because of, you know, of Mr. Ash finding out who, who has done all this. Um, 
So basically where we are right now, the truth will set us free. And as we see this in the making, the truth is setting us free. So what I would like to, I'm looking forward to the day that if Ash ever writes a book, learning about who did this, what, not necessarily their names, but who, what, why, how, how did this happen? Um, but we do need to continue to pray for Ash and all the unpassive founders and all the engineers and the tech team and everything because prayer is going to get us to where we need to be and lastly what we've gone through it will make us stronger and it will make the victory that much sweeter so back to you ron okay um marty i believe marty wanted to say something again real quick and then we have a special guest mm -hmm. go ahead yeah. marty I thought I was a special guest. Holy cow. Yes, you you were the one I was talking about, brother. Oh, oh okay. Um, no, I think the special guest is about 100 pounds lighter. Anyway, no, <laughs> but what I wanted to say is, you know, we started this about an hour and a half ago, hour, yeah, about an hour and a half, and everybody feels the same way. It, it's just a different way of delivering. It's whatever whatever you know, like the tech guys know more about the technology part, but I'm telling you, um, some of you that have done business online before on Passive, some of you haven't, all of you have worked. I mean, obviously some of you 20, 30, 40 years. Um, back when I was 25, 20, no, 27, I always thought, I, I I wasn't very good at conforming to just one thing. I, I always thought there was something something there, something better. I thought when people did better, you know, if you put in the effort, everybody could do better. And like you know my story, and as you go through this journey online, you find out that it's not quite it's not quite what it cracks up to be. And you know, when we talk about, oh, I, I felt relief. I felt, I felt super relief that when Ash feels good, I feel good. I mean, it's that simple. It's not that's not very technical, but I mean that when when he's feeling good, I'm feeling good. When he's not, I know usually probably because I'm a brown noser. But I mean, I know when it's not good. But, but you know what? I found out that a lot of you I know, we've all become that close. You see somebody and they're kind of quiet and they're not normally quiet. And you say, well, I wonder what's wrong with them. And you go ask and find out there is something not right. That's the human part of unpassive. That's the ideology that people for thousands of years have tried to stop or change. And you can't. Um, Funny enough, when we started here, myself, Mike, and Dan, I I always wanted to build relationships as we built a team. The problem was, like I said, the business never lasted long enough, or what they were trying to sell was crap, or it cost too much money, and there was you know all the the nightmare things, and most people can't drive traffic to themselves and all that. We all know that. So I thought, well, we'll bring them with us. We'll get, you know, what a joke. So when people, you know, I've had people say to me, I don't know how you just keep going and going and talking and blah, 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 because I'm in love with Unpassive. I'm in love with Mr. Mofara. And I got to be somewhere that was customized, I feel, and this feels a little selfish. It feels like it was customized for me. And I know a lot of people feel that way when you get here. And I think that's why people... The introverts, some of you are introverts. You wouldn't know it. Marcy Ann swears she was, and she's a maniac, right? She's a dancing crazy woman, but she's strong. She believes it's strong, and that's the difference. That's what divides the regular company. I don't want to be in a regular company. I don't want to be led by a regular person because if this feels right, it's kind of sad that being in the right place is so foreign to the world. We have a guy that wants to do right for mankind. 
but that's not the way it is. In MLM, they're patting you and talking to you, but it is fight to the finish. It's fight to the finish. Everybody's going after their own, trying to get what they can. And, and, and I spent many years and a lot of money that I did not have thinking that I could buck the system. I, I, I couldn't. And it was, it was gut-wrenching because the more you know, and this is Bob Tacusi always says, the more you know, you don't know. Every rock I flipped over, there was some new surprise. And it wasn't a surprise of, oh, this is great. It was like, oh, crap, you're kidding me. And, and when that happens over and over and over, and all of a sudden, God delivers me to unpass him because that's what I believe. Because I was days away of stopping completely or building something on my own. Could I do a little stupid page and have people give me money? Without a doubt. I could do it tomorrow, but that's not ever what I wanted. Do I need money? I got grandchildren that can eat. You hear what I'm saying? But the point is I wanted to be, what good would it be to go on a cruise with everybody on the cruise and you're the only one that did well? You're the only one that won. Forget how much you want or what you want, but winning is the big deal. Did you know three to four hundred dollars? And I'm talking to my brothers from Africa, three or four hundred dollars a month in Africa is a gold mine. It changes a village. You know what I'm saying? And Ash looked at it from that point of view. He saw, he didn't just look at it from the United States. That wouldn't be fair. Because when I when I first got in and heard about it, and he said 97, I thought it was 9700 dollars or $970, I didn't know. But when he said $97, it actually made me feel, well, is it as good as I thought it was? But I didn't know absolutely far. He had to set up a number that you have skin in the game, and yet some of the people that don't have that much skin to give can still get in. And that to me, to be in something like this after all the years that I fumbled around and I was living a fairy tale. I really was. Mike and Dan told me the last week morning, we got to get out, man. It's not working. Get out. And and I just like, no, we can't. We got to, you know, but I was wrong. I, I, I just don't know what it is. And then this happens to me and people are counting. They, oh, I did this for 400 days, 500. I don't give a crap about that. I see people coming to me that wouldn't turn their camera on. They wouldn't add their name to now speaking to hundreds of people inspiring people. The tech guys were not really all that outgoing when I met them. You couldn't shut them up now. I don't even know what happened to Vincent. He's a, It's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And what happens, you take an IT guy and you pump on passive in his veins, that's what happens. I love the people. I love everybody, like Eric said, and all of you said, you, Eric's like a brother, a little smarter than I am, but I'm going to work on that. But Minnow, I love Minnow, all of you. I mean, everybody I could name. Pitbull with lipstick. Who else could I tell that to, to a woman? And I only do it because we're seven, 800 miles away from each other or whatever. But anyway, I love you all. Thank you so much for coming tonight. I really blew this up to a lot of people because it's time to celebrate. I don't give a crap. What, I, I'm, I'm, it's, it's bad that things happen, but we dwell on that. We're missing out on what we have. And what we have is each other, Mr. Mubara, and all the ever asses, trust me, and I'm going to deliver some really good stuff out of the kitchen. So anyway, Marty, that's all I Marty, yeah. Marty, you are exactly right. And let's keep the excitement going. And let's <laughs> introduce the man of the year, Mr. Ash McFara. Come on down, Ash. Hello, Ash. Hi, Welcome. Thank you, Minu and Ron. Good evening. Happy Friday evening. evening. I hope Glad you can you, hear brother. me fine. No, we it's hard to see you. you. Did you see can, how handsome you. my brother's uh, goatee, the Garmo? But how horrible is the uh, flicker in the background uh, of Zoom? Did you realize that? We're waiting, uh, brother. I, I was... Uh, 
I was looking for uh, let's O. Oh, I couldn't find it. That should have been under Friday Night Live. But I, all I find is um, let's zero. They have it zero. It's not O. Oh. Wait, did I, did I miss that? Oh my god! <laughs> did you change the name, Ron? No, I'll have to get with my secretary on that. Uh, you can find me. That was, she might have had big fingers. <laughs> Wait a minute, that was Marty's link. So maybe it was, that's right, it was Marty's. It was, it was Marty's link. Marty. Well, I think he meant less zero in the topic, like the the context. Right? Yeah. This focus. That's what he meant. Uh, it's all good. I'm happy to be with you. I always get the sense like when it's Friday night, evening, sit down, chillax with the family. And yes, you are my family, not like a family. In fact, better than my family. I'm going to get yelled at for sure. But uh, uh, I hope you're doing good. I uh, know that you're talking about your reaction on the latest development, which is yesterday. Gene, it was uh, not Wednesday, it was Thursday at noon uh, at uh, 2 p Yeah. So it's all good. Uh, we are having a good uh, reaction. Okay. Uh, this is what matters most. It's not so much the mechanics. I heard you, Caroline. I would like to address everything you said. You have the right to know that. I'm, I'm not... Uh, uh, dispute in the fact you should know, but probably different timing will uh, make more sense for certain topics. But it's all good. It's not nothing bad. It's, uh, it's all good lessons. Uh, we die learning. The minute you think you know it all, that's the, the minute you stop learning and growing. So we are a student of life and we continue learning. Uh, of course, we made mistakes. We continue to make mistakes because we are up to something and onto something unique. It's not easy. It's uh, really uh, disrupting so many avenues, uh, whether in the market or even the pay people uh, think. So because of that, uh, we expect some challenges. That is normal. If you think you're going to build something of this uh, uh, volume and magnitude and nothing is going to uh, block you or try to resist, uh, it's not realistic. So uh, we have uh, been in certain battles, whether on the mechanical direction or uh, logistics, uh, we uh, we overcome some. We still we still you know uh, working out something. It doesn't matter. What matters the most as of yesterday, uh, it's another evidence that it's okay to lose a battle once in a while, as long as you keep trying. But what matters more is the winning attitude that we have, and to win the war. Uh, we have something that we're honored to be. Uh, sacrificing so much and paying a high price for that, it is well worth it. I can redo that. Yes, the recent tweets have been very disturbing, challenging, all of that. Uh, we, uh, we sit and think about that, uh, where we expected it to be easier. Absolutely not. And do we want to encounter uh, and I, I believe, uh, uh, like easier, uh, direct, uh, like a journey. No, it's, it's, it's not going to be as joyful. So the moral is we're happy that we went through those challenges. Every time we learn, we get tougher, we get stronger and, uh, we learn many lessons. So this is, this is what matters to me the most that we've learned quite a lot. Okay. Uh, and and we continue to grow. So we are, are we better today than yesterday? Absolutely. Are we better today than last year? 1,000%. So 
So um, we um, we believe the reason I'm happy sounds like it wasn't difficult to show. It was very obvious to everyone. The reason is because of you. Uh, if I look at my side, it's it's a little hot, okay? Uh, but because of when I got to a stage where I saw, okay, I'm secure in your dream, regardless of what's happening to me, that doesn't matter. That's what keeps me uh, motivated. And I don't mean you specifically like one individual. I mean, what we what we're aiming to accomplish is far more superior than just somebody's capacity. So that's why is more of a humanitarian objective. And it's unlike any typical business person, which we could understand that what motivates them or excites them, makes them happy, or that triumph moment is when they make a big deal or make earn big substantial revenue or uh, they achieve a higher position, more fame. Not in this house. What motivates us the most is when we inspire somebody, we ignite and enable their dreams to, if not to the fullest and maximum potential, but at least a little bit more than what they are living right now. It's all about others. So that's what excites us. You want to see a happy day here? Is when we see we've made a progress in somebody's life. We made a difference in somebody's life. In fact, if you allow me, I will mind something I've never shared with you. It's, it's a bit personal, but the truth is um, I work around the house a lot, obviously. I'm home a lot to the point where they're not that excited to see me because I'm mostly home, okay? And they always make up excuses for me to leave hoping I take longer or not come back, maybe. Uh, but we're not necessarily having the luxury of time to talk about business all the time. Life is bigger. The only time in this house we were talking about the business in an excitement I've never seen a level of excitement I've never seen. You may think, okay, well, we got Burj Khalifa, or we opened that, or we got this, you know, buzz, or uh, how much in the back? Nobody cares, nobody knows. Long as we have food on the table, kids are fed, we're good. The time that, it's been a while, when I was reporting to my wife that, yes, the affiliates, the founders are finally making money. Yes, and some got paid. Doesn't matter how much, who, how many, but when that got, unfortunately, didn't last, okay, for, for how we wished for, uh, but that was the highlight, the peak of the happiness and the excitement in this house. And uh, I'm not sharing that for any reason, but to tell you, that's what drives us. That's what motivates us, truly. Like when I feel like we, we've accomplished something, I know, I know it's gonna help you. It's gonna help humanity. It's gonna make progress, make a, inspire in a positive way. That's when we get excited. Not about we made something. 
in fact, we could be crying if we're talking about business, like how much we've been making all that. It's, it's, it's all south, right? So it's not so much green uh, on that chart, but yet we we're excited because we made progress. We know it's, it's gonna affect you positively uh, at the end of the day. So uh, that's why we feel good. And we believe as long as we maintain that solid, incredible bond support within our community and this magnificent drive to make that positive impact, we're unstoppable. Yeah, we can win and lose, lose a few battles here and there. Uh, it all doesn't matter. As long as we're on the right direction, we're more fulfilled. Even things were not happening in the way we wished for, all of us collectively, for a time in our journey. Yet, everybody still had the faith and the hope. We know this is not the end. We know we have that gut, that, that gut feeling that we're up to something unusual. Because if we've seen the collapse and the signs of, the signs of any other business, okay, or failure, if you wish, in the market, we've seen enough from Unpassive just to give up on it. All of us. Yet, still here, and we are reviving our dreams, and we keep pushing forward. It's very simple. We know there's no better place. Nobody's even trying to make it better for us. And if we don't do it, nobody's going to care. So, with that, uh, uh, just understand somebody's opinion doesn't make any impact or anybody's uh, criticism without a proper, solid, constructive solution. Please uh, don't consider that. Don't, don't, don't even listen to it. There's a ton of negativity around, okay? We, we don't need more. Um, and what we need is a beam of light and that beam of hope that we can be more motivated for a better tomorrow. It is possible. I've seen it. And uh, we had beautiful, clean vision, yet it got a little tangled. But who cares? We're not limited to one shot or any, any amount of shots. I mean, we keep shooting until we hit. Uh, but boy, are we more equipped today? Are we more knowledgeable? Absolutely. A million times bigger and stronger. Uh, so that's how I feel about where we are. That's how I feel about uh, if you spotted my happiness. Uh, yes, it's not always shiny and sunny and beautiful. I mean, we got we got our fair share fair share too. Um, we uh, we hear some bad news about some of you health issues and family issues. We always hear that. We we continue to pray. Uh, but we have to fight. We have to continue, uh, you know, the productivity. Uh, in the last uh, couple of weeks, I've been dealing, dealing myself with, uh, with everything I'm dealing with. There's so many complicated uh, business emergencies, if you wish, but also at home or in the family, the extended family, there, there is our drama too whether health, whether this, death, all of that. Uh, my single sister lives in Germany, and she has a twin boy and a girl, four years old. Uh, my mother went to visit her there, 
they were uh, on a boat uh, just to spend a good evening there. And uh, the four-year-old uh, boy just jumped in the water before, uh, without anybody noticing, and he, he drowned to death. So uh, we lost him. It, it's not so much that, but it's like the devastation of the, you know, my mom feeling bad, guilty. She was taking care of him. And his mom, my sister, uh, being, you know, uh, she had enough on her plate uh, just to deal with. In fact, that's the reason my, my mom went to visit so she could support her. Uh, and I'm the guardian to my sister in a way. I support her as many other uh, people we love. And uh, I had to deal with that in the background. Uh, that is just one example. The reason I'm just saying this is don't assume that my last uh, week or two or five or 20 weeks or whatever were that smile that you saw yesterday. So I, I don't have to come and talk about the usual. I, I think that's everybody has those in their life. I have it, you have it. And if somebody come and talk to me about their issues, I'm not gonna respond to them. Hey, listen, I, I got enough, okay? I have this, you don't have, you have no idea what day I'm having, but it's, it's, it's rude to respond as like, listen, I got stories too. Uh, I'm more motivated to make that. I think I'm, I'm even more motivated to be honest with you when I feel there's more responsibility. Like that means you matter more. You're important. You're not just a, a typical individual, whether in the family or the community or society anywhere. So I, I feel like, you, you know, yeah, give me more. So I need to uh, make sure that I'm up to the challenge because uh, not everybody's going to cope with that. So understand for us to come and give you that, okay, it's by design. And if it was something for us to monetize or to entice people or to any monetary in there, okay, it would be the opposite. We will be talking about the issues and the complication, all that. We need your support, pay this, that, okay. Okay, so give me, 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 okay. It would be that narrative, okay, versus all that kept aside, and I come here when there's only good news to tell you, or at least to give you the hope that, listen, we got your back, we're working hard on it, and no matter what it takes, it's going to be done. Like we always say, do it or die. Uh, and uh, we're not going to compromise any of our, uh, uh, not, not just the dreams, but the standards, the, uh, you know, the caliber that we possess. I mean, we are going to continue the character we uh, want to be and uh, ju just, just enlighten somebody's day. That, that's what drives us. So I didn't mean to make it so serious in a way. It's Friday night. We should be having fun. And uh, it just understand that there are, and not just me, there are people who care for you and they work so hard, no matter how the circumstances, how ugly, how tough, how rough, okay, we continue to work. Uh, to the betterment of, of, of our life and your life. Uh, so, uh, and that's a good character of a leader. They don't bring their drama constantly, all that. They just bring what matters to you. They focus on you. What is, uh, you know, positive and what is constructive. And if if we understand that concept alone, okay, this is how you can differentiate between somebody who is looking to uh, use you or empower you. If somebody is just like bitching 24 seven and all of that about everything in life and they're not giving you a solution, they don't care about you. They just want attention.
okay? Because the minute they have some of the heat we suffer sometimes, they're going to disappear. Do you think they're going to sacrifice one drop of anything we go through for any one of you or the even a dog? No, they're not going to do that. Uh, so let's respect our intelligence collectively here. We, uh, we should be able to know um, by now who is in it for themselves who is in it to really make that uh, positive impact. Now, let's go to the beginning. Uh, I wonder how many people woke up today in America or around the world thinking, it's Friday, happy Friday, thank God it's Friday, finally it's Friday, guess what's on Friday? It's less, oh, uh, I don't think that's the case, but Rana Minu, beside the name, let's O, what is the one thing that you wish you would improve? We all always have room for improvements, right? What would you like to change about this program? Besides Ladies the name, first. the name was Chris Johnson's. Yeah. No, the name the nice. name was As McFarris. <laughs> All right, we can fix that. At least I didn't say list zero. <laughs> Go ahead, Manu. I would like to see you participating in this and bringing us together more regularly on this. Let's go. Oh, that's my wish. How about the time? Have we you ever given it. any thought? Well, I'm just doing like this six o'clock in the morning, just, okay? I just wanted to change <laughs> the uh, topic. So uh, back to you, Minu and Ron. So um, I'm here if you want me to address anything specific. I just wanted to talk to you. I feel like I'm here and talk to my family uh, when it's uh, this time of the night. And uh, Thank you, Ash, for sharing. Of course. Thank you for sharing your drama in the family with us and considering us. Oh, I got more if you want to know. Uh, do, do, do. <laughs> <laughs> That's nothing. You know, it doesn't matter what your status is yeah. in life or, you know, how much money you got or how less money you got or how many kids you got or whatever's going on. Okay, all of us have that equal amount of sadness, drama, sure. happiness. It's what it's like you say, Ash, it's what we make of our own lives. Okay. And our heart goes out to you and your family, and we will keep you in your prayers. And we're sorry to hear of the tragedy. But we are glad that you're here with us, and we would hope that you will join us more often. We know that you're a busy man, a busy man. and uh, but the news you shared with us on 360 really, really turned on a light bulb for a lot of people again that were uh, they were on a dimmer switch, if you want to say, and you really turned turned up the dimmer to a bright light again, and uh, we thank you for that. We're standing behind you, buddy. No matter what you hear or what we, what anybody does, if we weren't behind you, we wouldn't be here. And uh, there are people out there that talk negative about you and everybody else, and Marty. But we understand about Marty. But you know, people like Chris Johnson and all them other YouTube channels. So thank right. God that we don't have something like that. That ours is a family. We will always be a family. We're a family from all over the world. And uh, we wouldn't have that if it wasn't for you and your vision and your plan. So so God bless you. And we're, we're, we stand behind you, brother. I appreciate you. Uh, and as of course, if it I wore because blue of because you. I saw you wearing blue. <laughs> if you realize that. I realize that. I realize that. 
I owe you lunch, okay? When are we going? I'm sorry, Manu. I said I also, I forgot what I was going to say. I really appreciate because of you, we have this international family. We laugh together, cry together, say prayers together, reach Absolutely. out. So this is all because of you. Thanks to you. So uh, start thinking about maybe, I don't know if it would be helpful in any way. Like, why don't we start talking about, not now, but in the coming days, about the ugly, and then we move into the good. Like, like just just for fun. See how much you can take. Just for a little bit. Talk about ugly, 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 and boom. And then yeah, we, we can talk about my bank account. <laughs> we as that's nothing. Yeah, trust me. No, it's ugly. Trust me. <laughs> That can change. Uh, but look, <laughs> what's in your heart is is the real treasure. So exactly. and brain. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, maybe let's celebrate. That would be the name of the show. Let's celebrate. Absolutely. We let's do. Celebrate. Let's celebrate on Friday Night Live. Let's so celebrate, Friday, everybody. Meaning you would have to squeeze whatever positive and bright on, in your week so you can come and just talk about positivity and things that you have gratitude for, you're grateful for, any progress, any positivity, or even hope for the future. So it's a place for only uh, enriching yeah. our community and positivity. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Thank you. I keep fixing and cleaning up after Chris Johnson. Let's, oh, what does it mean? I didn't even <laughs> show up. That's why I'm taking advantage. Think I'll and, be um, <laughs> there is no way Marty is going to forget that name. It's some brother. Right, yeah. Marty? Let's celebrate. He's not coming? He probably was on a fishing expedition with his brother. He's coming. And I, yeah. At and I night? was hoping his brother would be nice to him. Mm -hmm. He's he the was, brother. He was, his, he was with his brother all day, him and his son. So, yeah, yeah. yeah he said he'd be a little late. A little. So everybody, are We're you ready 11. to celebrate? Are you ready to celebrate? Yeah. So I think I'm filling in for Chris Johnson tonight. Hey, hey, hey. Well, you better start acting like a dumbass. I don't blame you if you leave, if you're disappointed, but somebody got to oh, take his spot. Marty, that's terrible. Oh, no. All right. Um, he knows anybody... Right. Uh, if you want to ask a question, raise your hand. I'm going and, to invite uh, V to say something. V doesn't get to be on the platform with Ash uh, often. V, all the way from Australia. Oh, I'm sorry. Vavina. V. Vavina. Oh, my goodness. Oh, geez. Thank you so much. I'm um, so lost for words i don't know what to say but i'm really excited to be honest um excited for the future and uh, also very excited about um ash Mufar. your um adventures to be honest is uh uh uncomparable uh unmatched and also it's something that no one else is uh, appointed to do uh, i think you alone have been earmarked you've been chosen and you've been uh groomed so to speak uh, to do this task you've been given uh, this blueprint uh, if i should uh, be allowed to say that because um no one uh, can really express how we feel um, everyone has said everything else and they all make sense uh, that we're not together in in physical but in spiritual we're all connected 
And it's our spiritual beings, the excitement uh, with our spiritual beings that connect us and make us uh, be in the same spot, be in the same uh, uh, energy, if you like. So um, your energy we feel and our energy, you also feel that. And we're all on the same page at some point in the universe. I don't know what it is that make us all connect. Uh, to you, your vision, your 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 mission as well is very clear to the people that are here okay. today, uh, and uh, we feel you. And I am really, really saddened to hear about your nephew. Uh, like you said, we all have our own experience in our lives. We have our downs and our ups and downs and all of that. But we, when we come to talk about on passive, our vision is very clear, like uh, yours. Your mission is very clear, and uh, we are all in the same mindset to do the right thing. I mean, although there are so many evil out there, the enemy is always around uh, to sabotage and destroy, but he comes to help us and uh, to, to save us. And so he's also at your back in whatever you're doing, in all that you're doing. So all the downs are, are, are learning curves. And also victories as well. So this is one big, huge hurdle that you have just gone over with your team. And uh, every little thing that we do across the globe uh, is very little, but we, uh, like Marcian has expressed, that we're just water bottles standing on the side of the road, giving it to you as you run past uh, with your team. And that's the, as little as we can do, but you have taken uh, the heat you're at the forefront of it all and um, uh, we don't come on here very often to applaud you but behind the scenes we really appreciate your your efforts your your, your the fight that you're doing we are all there behind you so yeah we love you Ash and thank yeah, you it's not I much you. to say but yeah and I want to thank you for you. the email uh, that you also shared with us a uh, couple of uh, days ago uh, that was touching as well. Thank you. Thank you. you know thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, V. Thank you, Ash. And uh, I see we have the Bahamas in the house. Uh, maybe he uh -oh. wants to say something. Rafi, Rafi, Raphael, our Bahama breeze. What's up, all? What's up? Yes, guys. Um, sorry about my tiredness. I was a little late tonight. I was on at another function, but. I had my trusted headphone in, so I wasn't missing much. You know, wherever there's something about on passive taking place, I want to be there listening in as much as I could. I see a topic is, um, have you heard? Guys, after Thursday, um, 360, I went to the mirror. I look in the mirror. I, I look at myself and I said, have you heard? You've always been talking about trusting the process. Now you see the process is working, right? You really believe in the process because every time you did a video, you tell people to trust the process, but now you have to believe it in yourself that and see now that the process is really working. You know, when they had the doubts out there, they thought that we lose all our data and all of our information, 100% back in the fold. Hey, God is good. It's all because of the power of God. I know that he is the, behind all of this. Ms. Mafara, I keep the, continue, uh, continue to keep you and your family in prayer. Sorry about the incident with your nephew. Um, but hey, God, God got you. And all my brothers and sisters, all of this is possible because of Mr. Mafara. You know, we're all from different races, countries, and we all have different personality, but we all come together on the one umbrella, that umbrella of one passive. And I pray that God continue to bless us all. Thanks, Ron. All right. Thank you, Rafi. It's good to see you. Comfort. It's odd hours in the morning you've been with us. You Are you happy or what? See something. Our CEO is here. Oh, thank you, Vinu. Hi, Ash. Thank you. Uh, I just want to start by uh, sharing my sincere condolence about the great loss in your family. Just know that we'll keep you and your family in prayers. We know that you're going through enough already. And that happens, we can only give God the glory because there's nothing much we can do about that. 
Yeah, however, yeah, I just want to think about a statement I think Red or one or Marty made about a week ago. Say we've got a community second to none. So just piggy banking on what others have said. I think it's real. You can see it happening right now. And you see it every day, you see it every minute, you see it on social media. And again, thanks to you. We just appreciate the fact that God chose the right instrument. I'm not sure it's your making and it's not anybody's making. God just chose you for a reason. He's right again. That's arrogant. <laughs> yes. And so, <laughs> like I say, you're just the right instrument because uh, your leadership style, your humility, everything about you is what is keeping everybody going. And it's what's leading us to where we are going to. So uh, the journey of Unpassive is full of excitement, learning curves, and all of what we are witnessing. And I think the future is definitely guaranteed by the grace of God. We just keep praying for you and your team and your family and hoping that we all get to the top together to celebrate and do what uh, God has laid in our hearts and through you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Comfort. That's beautiful. Let me tell you, uh, I've seen people go to work on Monday morning here in America. They're well put together, excited, refreshed, energetic, especially after a weekend. Tuesday, they still, still have that momentum. Tuesday, they start slowing down. By Thursday, they're almost like in a weakened spirit. Uh, come to Friday morning, they look like caveman. I haven't seen anyone look like this on a Friday night, <laughs> except the UK people. Yes. You're looking great. Thank you. Your energy rubs it in, Ash. Ash, we have a lady with her mm -hmm. hand up. They have, she lives yeah. in that country where they have big rabbits that hop around. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ash from afternoon. Australia. How are you? Oh. Hey, I just want to say you look 20 years younger, okay? Now, I don't know what it is, and I do know what it is. So part I of the thing... I just recently had a shower. <laughs> well, that might help. Um, but one of the things, like a show that I do, is called The Diamond Within, and I say that people carry the crap of life, what life has put on us, and you forget how brightly you can shine. Yeah. Um, that's just one of the things that I sort of do from over here. Um, I've had a uh, gentleman here in Australia want to ask a question, so he's What's asking uh, if I could share it, and okay. it's up to you whether you What's want to. What's his name, Meryl? Uh, his name is Ian. Okay, Ian. So he's yeah. a founder, and um, he has asked me to ask this question. Uh, it's sure. up to you if you want to answer it. So he said, um, Ash, have you given any consideration to how you might prevent this sort of corruption from happening again? That's a very good question, Ian. Uh, yeah. So we do everything we can, but do I guarantee uh not having any loophole again, uh, God knows. But definitely we know that we are more experienced today. We, uh, we have the right to be skeptical a little bit, more uh, unease in a way to, uh, to, to, to be more cautious and, and for people to excuse us to say we don't trust or you know we we cannot give that much power and authority anymore uh in any way it should get better it definitely will get better yeah but mm -hmm. will we have 100% uh security uh we we don't know we have a good heart we're easy i'm not going to change that to be honest with you if somebody going to find that as a weakness uh, and take advantage of it. Uh, that's why I never claim I'm a business savvy. It's a true statement, uh, but it really wouldn't impact the overall outcome. And I'm glad it happened. So now we have the lesson and it didn't happen at those, uh, let's say advanced stages. It's good it happened 
prior to that massive uh, growth? Good question, Ian. Thank you. I think um, I think that's exactly right, and uh, thank you for answering that for Ian. Um, I think, as I've said before, and you may not have heard earlier, that I talk about trust. And one thing is when you have a good heart, you tend to trust everybody. You know, people go, oh, you shouldn't trust so quickly. But when you have a heart, you have a giving heart, giving soul. Um, it's hard to not, you know, these people come to you, then why would you doubt any And you other believe that RL is often taken as a weak thing yeah, or as uh, probably disadvantage. Like a negative, yeah. It's, it's sad, yeah, when it should be the norm. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. It should be the norm and people get too scared and whatever. But I won't hold it up. Uh, thank you so much for answering that. Um, like I said, you look 20 years younger and I think part of that crap fell off of you and your your light is shining again, which makes our light shine again. So thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. That was good, right. Narelle. Thank you. And you know, you're right because about the trust part, because in my profession that I retired from, you are you didn't trust somebody until they prove themselves, you know. Yeah. Everybody you you were on the defensive no matter who you talk to or who you let into your circle, if you want to say. Right. Because a lot of people, a big percentage, have their own agenda. True. And God God knows people what that change. is. You know? People change when they have power or they have right. that uh access to more privilege in life, okay. They change. Not everybody is, right. is going to remain humble. That's right. You know, Ron exactly. and everyone, uh, here is, I, I always say this, okay? It's either you're in my life slash I trust you or you're not in my life. If, say, somebody I have my doubts or question marks about, okay, they're not in my life. I don't have to deal with that because I don't like to deal with people with uncertainty or telling different stories and playing games and telling untruthful things and it's it's a war and yes. that is going to raise like skyrocket your blood pressure to be honest with you and that's not worth living and if like you said give people a chance the benefit of the doubt sound good then i trust you welcome to my life you're with him unless that change is okay, or I learn something different, then you're not in my life. That's it. But but if I'm dealing with you, I hope you would give me the same. I trust you. Let's, you know, uh, make the best out of this, this relationship so it can be win-win. Exactly. Not exactly. everybody is, is that simple or that, I would say, uh, grateful within their uh, ambition. A lot of people get greedy or, you know, they want to uh, go above you, superior, all that. I don't mind it. Trust me, nothing pleases me more than when I see I inspire somebody. But the best of that pleasure and, and satisfaction is when I see somebody like really got it and they got ahead of me. Like, I love it when people take my, say, advice, allow me to say that or knowledge or in in any guidance and they take it to heart really and they go all the way and boom down the road you look wow how far they go i love it nothing pleases me more than when i see somebody really goes all the way i don't compare okay i i i just love and take it as an honor i was a part of that transition or transformation in their life and this this actually excites me more. If everybody's going to be below you, you're not making a change, like a difference in their life. There's no I in team. That's right. So you're exactly right. Let's go to Ava Ava has her hand up. Boy, say that three times real fast. Go ahead, Ava. Hello, so, Ash. Uh, well, we go to you, then we go to Listera, then Sharon Whitty. They don't have the raised to hand. So, the hand to Ava. Ava, we just got a call from the Coastal Guards in uh, Michigan. They found a man lost in the lake, and he's just about to come to this show. 
Was he in the ocean? <laughs> Old water. I thought, I thought he would be washed away uh, to Bangladesh by now. <laughs> I um I just wanted to say hi to you, nothing uh, much. And I just want to say that really, really sorry hearing about your nephew. It's really sad. I mean, we all go through our ups and downs, but it's amazing that how you keep up such a front and you never let on to anybody anything. And that's one thing really admire about you, no matter what. I have been here since now four years, and I'll be here for the next four years also, whatever time it takes. So I'm Absolutely. there all the way. Thank you, Ash. Absolutely. Thank you, Ash. I'm going to always you. show up for your success. Yeah, thank you. Beautiful. Lister, I may go not ahead. Teach you how to fly. But definitely, I'm going to help you soar to your success. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, Ash. Well, hello, Lestra. Oh, I wish I had your strength, your resilience, your everything. It's so wonderful. It was wonderful hearing from you yesterday. I mean, in everything you said, it was so uplifting because... I mean, with me, I have been walking around with this um, shadow and I shouldn't have been. I trusted in you and what you can do and everything that you did do. But it was still hard just thinking about everything you were going through. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it. It's only God. I can tell you that it's only him. And we're so grateful, so grateful for you and for everything that you do. It's just incredible. And then you came out and you said yesterday as well, there will be a positive curve in the business and the best days are coming soon. And that is uplifting as well. That's really uplifting. It's it's just Oh, I feel 10 pounds lighter. And I can tell you I've been trying to lose that 10 pounds. <laughs> I do feel 10 pounds lighter. Thank you so much. Thank you. May you uh, continue to be blessed every Thank single you. day, you and all the family. And yes, my condolences. I feel that. I feel that for you because uh, I know what it is like to lose people in the family. It's not the worst easy. thing is when the young go first. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And like Thank you so much. accidents or uh, yeah, tragic things, but Hey, uh, we got to like man up and be up to the test. Life is just a test. Uh, listen, let's try. I thank you. Uh, and I, I appreciate you. Listen, uh, we're targeted, okay? Uh, there's man-made and there's, you know, God's will there, right? Yeah. Uh, here's here's what I ask you for, as well as everyone he here and who would listen to this. Um, if you are able to think by now and all the time we spent together, did you learn that genuinely we're trying to improve your life in a way or another, right? Uh, whatever you hear, or even if it's discouraging, like it's discouraging to us, it doesn't mean, but make sure one thing, you know that's not the outcome, and that's not the conclusion, that's not the closure of anything. As long as we keep the dream alive, and we keep persuading that dream, we are going to get there or we have progress. It doesn't matter because we might end up somewhere farther or a different direction, but a better place than where we are now. And that's what matters. So Absolutely. as long as we're on a good mission and we never give up, we're united not to listen to, to the nonsense. Uh, that's, uh, that's exactly what we uh, want to maintain 
uh, as as one united community. Yeah, I can tell you, I will never give up. My fifth year is right around the corner. Five years, I'm not giving up ever. I stand with you, Ash. We can change direction. We can tweak things around. We can, you know, uh, change lipstick, whatever. It's all good. Uh, it's but the core is the same. It's it's ultimately a better place. Thank you. Yeah. Of course. Before we go to our next person, let's welcome Chris Johnson. You look burned in the sun. Oh, no, no, no. You just continue with those hand raises. I'm here to listen. My, I can't beat my forehead like Ash does because it's a little sore. Uh, I've, I've got on here probably 10 minutes after Ash started talking, so I don't know what he said, but I know it was good. I heard a lot of butt kissing going on, which I love. Of course, that's nice. I heard my name get called a few times. Oh, you muted yourself. Oh, Marty muted you. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I apologize. I'm late. Had I'm trying to fill in for you. I I see that and I appreciate it. Boy, with friends like you, I don't know if I need enemies lately. But I know <laughs> I disappointed the audience, but. <laughs> no, really. I'm uh, happy to hear, but continue with the hands raised. Okay. Sometimes Chris so Scott likes to listen. All right, we go to Sharon Within. She didn't have her hand to raise. And Lori, then Engineer Mike and Niraj. So, Sharon, please. Well, hello, everybody. Hello, Ash, Brother Ash. Greetings from Toronto, Canada. Um, hopefully, you guys don't lose me because a storm just hit my neighborhood, thunder and lightning. So, anyway, good evening, Ash. How are you doing tonight? Fantastic. Thank you. And that's great. I only had the pleasure to talk to you once before, and that's just before O Connect with Lodge. And the first thing I want to do is give my condolence to your nephew. I'm so sorry. That is very tragic. That is very sad. Um, I just want to say I have told my story a couple of times on webinars about starting a new business and being better than all the rest and stepping on toes and that people are like, what are you doing? Like, Who is this person? I started a, a poster flyering distribution company over 20 years ago. And when I started the first day I was out on the street, my competition, this huge corporation, they noticed me. And my clients were so afraid because this company has scared and intimidated so many people that tried to stop the business that they would fold and sell their clientele back to them. I promised my clients I, I would never fold and that I was there for the long run and I would be fighting the good fight. It was long and good hard. Fight. They stepped on my toes so many times and they, I mean, I had sleepless nights. They put me in tears. I asked people that were in business, like, how do you handle people that do not like competition? And they wow. said, Sharon, just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep being you and keep doing it. It cost me money. I would get paid once for the job and I had to do it like two or three times over and over, but I did not give up. And I like to say that 20 years later, they have folded and I'm still standing. And I am the number one distribution company in Toronto, Ontario right now. Sure. And it, it was really tough. And uh, so I have two qu questions. One question for you is just like, how do you handle um, all these people that are trying to put you down? And, and it's way bigger than what I had to go through. But these people that put you down. And one thing I know is that I had a lot of love on the streets and a lot of love in, in Toronto with my clients and stuff. And you have a lot of love with, with us here, with the global ambassadors. Like we all stand by you and we're all with you and we all love you and we all love to speak with you. And you are the best CEO ever in this whole world. And your heart is bigger than the size of Texas. And people told me that, Sharon, you're starting a business. You can't wear your heart on your sleeve. And I had a hard time doing that because I'm very compassionate. And I try to help my clients, especially because I deal with a lot of independent promoters and I try to help them. So my heart is big too. And I try to help them. So it's really, really tough that when you have people that are trying to put you down and, and, and thank God that, like I said, you have like how many, I don't know how many thousands brothers and sisters that have your back. We are team Ash all the way. And you are thank just like you. this incredible, incredible person. Um, Thank you, Sharon. I just Thank want to know, so Ash, much. can you answer that question for me, please? My Absolutely. Question is, 
Yes. Uh, well, uh, I'm proud of you. Good job. I mean, uh, good, good for you, seriously. But I, I don't allow somebody's intention, whether opinion or intentionality, to take over my what I believe is a better and more positive agenda. In a way, it doesn't get in me, right? As as bad as, as it could be, somebody could be yelling and vomiting and throwing, uh, you know, Molotov cocktail, whatever it is, <laughs> and, and trying to destroy me. But I focus on what's, what's in me, what I want to, to bring out, okay? In a way, if you look from that eye uh, through your door to see who's out and you see a bunch of people with swords and machetes and knives and all sort of rifles, right? Really wild people at your door, would you open for them? That's exactly the same. So that's how I see them. See them evil, destructive. They have nothing good. And if I allow them in, that's dangerous. So I don't listen to them. I don't give them a view. I don't uh, doubt my vision because of them. And I keep moving forward. And of course, there are more into it, but that's in a nutshell plus another major factor which is if if i was in it for myself or like for a small dream right just like to fill my pocket or whatever uh i can understand you know i might not endure that pain but when i know my fight is far bigger than myself like it can go for generations as a legacy Hell yeah, I can fight to the last breath. It's it's a it's a calling, it's a responsibility. I feel obligated I have to do it. If I got the gift, if if uh our creator gave us this power, I have to deliver it too. So my attitude and Bold mentality gets stronger every day because I realize every day I recognize how good it is just by the attacks on it. You just got to get better. You just got to get better at it and keep going. Thank you. Thank uh, you, Sharon. Thank you. Let's go to Lori before we go to Engineer Mike. Lori? Hi, Ash. I'm Hello, Lori. late today, but I was out having a lot of fun doing what I do. <laughs> but I, yeah. I, I I, made it, and I, I like I, everyone else, you know, I, I give my condolences. You know, I, I pray every day for my children and stuff and that they're safe. They're on their way to a rodeo tonight, and I'm like, why are you leaving tonight? You know, can't you leave in the morning? No, no, we're low. And I'm just like, okay, I'm praying, you know, stay safe. You're driving in the dark. Da, 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 da. So anyways, I have to just let go. I know. And, and let God, let that be in God's hands. But, you know, I was, I was out all day. I was out. They had a, a, a yard sale and the whole town was having a yard sale. And I went up there today and all day I spent. And uh, anyways, God led me to a lot of nice stuff that, I needed, I found gold and silver for free and a coffee pot and for, ugh, anyways, but, you know, this, this platform here that we all come to in every, every day, every night, you know, I, I usually am never miss, you know, especially nighttime and, um, you know, we all come and we laugh, we cry, we tell our stories and, it, it, it's nothing like on anything anywheres on earth that has this but here with us you know we built such a great family and i love it and uh, i stand behind you i will stand behind you physically i will fight i will i don't ever look at the negatives i just like laugh 
like really okay whatever but i know that uh, god is with us and and god will weed out everything and make it just perfect because you know it's it's in the prophecy i heard as on passive is in it and and i know it's going to happen and i know exactly but the plan is and so does ash so i'm here for you and everyone else i got your back Thank and you. i'm here Love you. Love you too. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dory. Engineer Mike, please. Hello, 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 everybody. Hey, brother Ash, my condolence to you, brother. Thank you. Um, we are here to always tell you that we are with you all the way till the end. Um, two years ago, I remember, like, Every day you come up, you bring something that is like a take-home message for us, and we don't take that lightly, okay? So two years ago, um, on the 10th of September, which was my birthday, I had this Canada meet and greet, and you came up. What you said was uh, um, Ash Mufare, I was born to change your life for the good. Absolutely. And that was the first time you made that statement. And that was my take home. But every other day you come out here, we are excited to hear you. And we just want to say um, we are with you all the way. In um, three months time, I will be four years in non-passive. What a journey. I cherish every moment. I cherish everybody that I've met across the, the non-passive journey. And I appreciate everybody, like my big brother, Marty, <laughs> Chris. We have fights all the time, and I enjoy the fights. Thank <laughs> you, everybody. Ash, we are with you. Um, you're a good man, and we will stay with you till the end. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Hello, Niraj. Your answer. Hi, uh, thank you, Minu, for giving me an opportunity. Hi, Ash, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, uh, first of all, uh, condolences on uh, the news of, uh, of the nephew. And uh, uh, every like all the Indians, uh, and not only Indians, but all on passivians are excited after the last OP360. I, the immediate effect I... Uh, uh, saw in restream, which I hate to do, but I have to do. <laughs> uh, uh, the number of people allowed are just 10 for the paid one, uh, not uh, going into details, but that number increased and people were unable to join. So uh, just a request to you, <laughs> get uh, the O Connect uh, as fast as uh, possible. And uh, it's coming. Uh, and if uh, if uh, if you give uh, me permission, I just wanted to ask one question. Of course. Uh, like I know we have gone through a lot of uh, changes, and uh, uh, just wanted to know how has it impacted the collaborations, or uh, like we do because at the end of day, I do not want or I don't want any on passive in to say it to a person when pitching for on uh, on passive, okay, we have this, we have this, and unfortunately it has impacted and we give a wrong impression. So uh, if you are able to share that or uh, as you said that maybe you uh, don't concentrate on details, that's fine with yeah, uh, always actions and results speaks, uh, you know, speak louder than uh, words. And uh, once we pass the, this uh, cloudy day, let's say, uh, it's a passing cloud. That's not going to be permanent. Then what's going to be available? I'm talking about technologies, applications, AI, what's happening, and the positive transformation in our life that's going to be louder than anything you don't need to add a word to it we don't need to be talking about the past this will be history and it's dead thank you Ash. it's not thank going to you, define who we are thank it's you not so going much to thank you yeah 
Thank you. Um, Dr. Benny, before you go, let us uh, ask Gemma because she doesn't have that feature to raise a hand. Gemma, you go, then Dr. Benny. Yeah, hi, hello, everyone. Hello, Minu and Ron for having me on. Mr. Ash, good to see you. Thank you I so just want, wanted to tell you something. I firmly believe that nothing in life happened for a reason. What had to happen to us with you know, the people that went against you or tried to backstab you had to happen. Uh, I remember a friend of mine, son passed away at 17 years old and she was at the wake or the funeral and she was just around smiling and talking to everyone. And when she was asked, how come you taking it this way? She said, God needed him more than I do. Wow. So everything in life happened for a reason. And I really appreciate you and all you're doing for us. I will stand by you 100,000%. If everyone here happened to fall by the wayside for whatever reason, I am there with you. I really appreciate you. Oh, thank you very much. And I love you, Mr. Ash. Thank you for everything beautiful. you're doing for us. You're very welcome. Thank you, Gemma. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, Dr. Benny, you're on. Thank you so much, Ms. Miller, for giving me this opportunity. Good evening. Mr. Ash Mafara. Good evening to each and everyone. Uh, I want to take this special moment seriously to thank our Heavenly Father for bringing each and everyone. The reason I'm thanking God is because I notice everyone here is talking about God. It is only God that knows about this company, that knows about our CEO, that knows about what is happening within our amazing company. I know that God will do what it takes. And God has chosen Mr. Ash Mufere. God, without God, we are nothing. I always say, to be good is not good enough. You have to exceed expectation. Mr. Ash Mufere, I want to say my condolence to you and your entire family. I am so thrilled to see you here. Uh, based upon what you said transpired yesterday, I shared uh, the video to I always deal with mamas and papas. I mean, elderly that uh, who are 80 years and above because they love on passive. Despite the, the concern that they had, they are excited now. I just want to let you know that no matter what, I will always stand by you. I brag about you and I will always, I always tell people that if you have any problem about on passive, talk to me because I will always defend Mr. Ash Mufara. On passive is everything to me. Thank you so much, Mr. Ash. Thank you so much. That's beautiful. Thank you, Dr. Yeah, thank you. Bruce, it's your turn. I would like for you to speak slowly and loud as you can, my dear, because often we have a hard time hearing you. So give it your best. Thank you. You're muted. Okay. Hello, Ash. How are you? I want to say to you, I'm sorry to hear about your nephew. Can you hear me okay? Not yeah, bad. it's okay. Do your best, like she said. Thank you very much. I'll do my very best. So anyway, I'm I'm thinking that uh, I don't want to go around with philosophical stuff, but I'm thinking about the the same person I was having on. You know, I can think it it begs the next question. Have you heard? Have you listened? And have you come to believe? And I believe that everyone here on it right now has gone through that process and have definitely come to believe. Because when you believe in something, you stick to it. And one thing that I learned from you more than anything was if you, when you have a dream and you stick to that dream, Yes, there will be a lot of complications, a lot of, is what we call, I call them, you have the shores in your life, and you have 
constructive people and destructive people. And we came with the constructive people. The destructive people become less and less powerful in your life. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you so much. All right. We Karen. go to Abdi. Go ahead, please. We go to Abdi, then to Jean Aliba. Please. Hello. Hello, everybody. Uh, Salam alaikum, Ash. How are you, brother? Inna lillahu inna ilayhi raji'un. We belong to Allah. And surely we will return okay. to Him. And uh, condolences to the nephews. Uh, it's a. Uh, also, uh, yesterday's 360 was a great news, and we are really uh, more than happy on behalf of the Somali founders. And in the Horn of Africa, we are really excited and happy. And it was good news to see that we all get our applications and data back. And yes, and we're always happy to hear from your voice. And just want to come to say hello and give my condolences. And good to see you, my brother. And we Thank love you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Abdi. Jean, you're on hand. Thank you, Minu. Um, Ash, um, I, I, I mean, everyone has already said uh, their condolences and and all of that. And I know that you're someone who always wants to uh, focus on, only on the positive, and that's how you manifest such magnificent things in your life. But I, it, it's a big burden to bear when you're taking on. Um, all of the incredible attacks coming against you and then also your personal losses. And I, and I just want you to know, and I know you know it, but I'm going to say it anyway, is that we, you never need to take any of these things alone anymore, ever. Um, you have this global family and we love you dearly. And I think, um, I, I just hope you 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 really get that we are safe haven and and we want you know, it's it's um I'm not sure I'm articulating myself very well, but I, I, I know you feel my heart and um and I also want to thank you for correcting me. <laughs> <laughs> on, uh, I have lost my sense of time and on passive. So Thursday, Wednesday, uh, you know, it's all on passive time and it's all a beautiful experience. It's all their so fault because you. they keep changing. <laughs> thank you, Ash. Oh, thank you so That's much. Uh, you know, Jean, uh, truthfully, I battle uh, myself like what type of information should be shared and all that stuff. So, uh, in a way, I try not to bring up any negativity. I'm just that type of person. But on the other side, I feel sometime, what if you find out and you're going to tell me you didn't tell us or you're going to hear it twisted uh, or it, I don't want you in any way to feel like you're not important, but take it as like you... I respect you more and I care more about your situation than mine and never take my, uh, let's say bad news as an excuse of anything that may occur, okay? So it's kind of like those uh, inner frictions I have. So, uh, but overall I feel better when I share like, okay, we're clear up again. I like to connect, I'm relatable. It's uh, welcome to life and reality. And everybody got their fair share. Thank you, Ash. We're here for you. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Jean. Um, Mark, you just came. Do you want to have a couple of words? Say hello to Ash and then John Barilla. I'm going to have to time John Barilla. 30 seconds only. But let's go to Mark. Mark, can you unmute? Her? First, there's Marty. Go for it, John. I'm going to sing a little song that I just wrote for us tonight because this is called Have You Heard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you heard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you heard? 
heard about on passes. Oh, have you heard it? Here to stay, yeah. Have you heard about home passive? It is fine, and so are we today. Yeah. Have you heard about home passive? Oh, have you heard it's here to stay? Yeah. Have you heard about on passive? Ash is fine, and so are we. Today, yeah, ash is fine, so are we. Today, yeah, ash is fine, and so are we. Today, yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you so much. Um, okay, we Mark Olson, if you want to say a couple of words, and then the birthday girl is here. We go to Sherry after Mark, and then whoever else I have missed, please step in. Mark, please. Sorry, I missed it. Uh, Wendy. No, it's okay. That was my I just want to say, Ash, we're behind you 100%. You know, I mean, you are the man. Uh, you know, you are... Uh, I, I got to say, I'm glad it's you and not me. <laughs> you know, because... I feel the same way. Yeah, uh, right, right. Being on someone you know, else, yeah. You know, uh, I I love your whole attitude, and, and uh, you know, you're all about changing humanity, and that's what you've always been about, you know. And uh, I think God's on your side and working through you to help everyone that you come in contact with. So I know you helped me a lot, brought back some dreams that I had, and. And, you know, that's what you said you wanted us to do, you know. So um, I'm glad that that uh, Kevin uh, brought me into this back in 2020. And, and you know, uh, today's a good day. You know, I'm so still above ground. And uh, it's all about looking at the positives and don't worry about the negatives, you know. I mean, it's uh, so, yeah. Glad Thank I got you. on here and was able to say, you know, that I trust you 100%. I have ever since I've seen that very first video, you know, I said, this is going to be a man that's going to change the world. And uh, look, you've already got a million people that you've changed their lives. You know, I mean, man, not too many people can say that, so. Uh, that's all I Thank got you. and Ash you have a, a great evening and prayers are with you and and also have a great uh, Labor Day weekend appreciate you let's go after it Mark thank you brother oh yeah all yeah, right birthday cool. girl we go to Sherry and then after that we go to Julie uh, Pierre Sherry go ahead Hello, everybody. First off, I want to say thank you so much for all the birthday wishes. I never had a family like this in my life. So I want to thank Ash for you creating I'm Passive, you and your wife, and all your commitments that you made. And I had no whoops about it because I know that this company is driven by a more higher power who is directing your steps who's directing all the steps all the way around. I don't know exactly what this meeting was about because I've been gone, but I know that I I always knew in my heart that this there was I, to, to just keep moving on and forward. I had no worries about anything because I know it was in God's steps and, and God has given you the power uh, or whatever people believe in. I believe in God. Please I call love on that. Ivy again. She wants to give condolences to Ash. Uh, I'm sorry. Who's that? Mute, Ron. That was Ron. I muted. I apologize. I muted Ron. Go ahead, Sherry. Yeah, so uh, I don't know. Um, I just know that I'm been here from the get go because I know what we're our where mission is, our our movement is about helping the world. And so I know that this is the time for it. And um I've been praying for you and your family and everybody. It's been in this whole thing all my brothers and all my sisters everybody who's helped and i know what it's like to own a business who 
people rip you off or take advantage of you or or what have you like that it can really be hurtful and especially when i know you ask your your heart is you never want to go there and i know that you're going to forgive them just like i i feel that you have to forgive people that's just me i have forgiven people on the weirdest things um that you wouldn't believe. And I know that you've forgiven people as well. And you've been through so much and my heart goes out to you and your family and prayers, of course, continually for you and the family and all the amazing dream teams from around the world, because we're not going anywhere. This is just stage one of um, passive. There's going to be several mm-hmm. stages. I say A to C and then some, I love you, Ash and your family prayers and condolence. And will keep coming from years and years to come. And I'm, Mike, just heart. Thank you so much. I love you guys. And I love you, Ash. And remember, you all matter on this earth. And in Happy the past. birthday. Thank you Thank so you. much. You look amazing. Uh, I agree with Jean. Beautiful haircut or whatever. Oh, haircut. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much. You it? It's a little shorter, right? Yes, it's a lot shorter. <laughs> yeah. I had it short once before, yeah. been a couple of years. Thank you so much. Yeah. Beautiful. So, this is Sherry, everybody. <laughs> and she's perfect because she's a Virgo, obviously. Yes, I'm a Virgo. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm talking about. Perfect. Perfect people. Because we, we, we joined here together on this perfect planet to be with the perfect Ash and his family. <laughs> How's that? Absolutely. That perfect. Love you guys. Mm. Thank you, Shane. So we go to Julie Pierre, after that to Ivy. Julie, please. Thank you, Minu. Hi, Ash. Um, thank you for sharing the highs and the lows of your family. Please excuse me for my voice. Um, I do appreciate that. After hearing the tragedy of your nephew, it gives me hope and it it um, makes me feel better about what I am going through in my own family with my daughter. Uh-huh. So thank you for sharing that with us. And um I've been praying about that, uh, Julie. I've heard too. We're yeah. with you too. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for the prayers, the support. Um, Do you wonder why God sometimes takes the wrong list? Like there's some more people need to be tortured, <laughs> but it always hit the bad, the good people, right? Yeah. So bad things happen to good people all the time. Yeah, all the time, all the time. Um, I couldn't be in a better place with a better family you know, a wealth of support that I've gotten through this time. And um, I just want to say love you guys. Thank you, Ash, for all that you've done for us. You are my beacon of hope. Um, I thank God for your life and your family, for your children. And I continue to pray for you. Thank you, Ash. Thank you. Stay strong. We're with you too. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. Um, Ivy, please. Well, hello, Ash. Good evening. My sister, how you doing? I'm doing good. What's with women? They look great and we look like train wreck, the guys. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> you look amazing, too. Thank you. Yeah, I just um, wanted to say thank you for teaching us to be focused in adversity. It's painful. My love to you, Julie, is hard, but um, love heals. So um, my grandmother has said, when you're going through pain, take a pen and paper and write 20 things that you want. She says that at the height of your pain is the height of an open door. The height of your pain. Write 20 things you need. 
because the pain is going to block the vision or who you are or what you want to be. Yes. So write 20 things. And I've done that twice in my life. And I'm telling you all the 20 things came to pass because she says the height of the emotion is a release of goodness. It's hard to believe it when you are going through it, but it will happen and surely come to pass. At the height of these painful moments with your sister, I offer my condolences, but I saw you smiling yesterday and you've taught me a lesson that in adversity, you can win. In adversity, you are teaching us that we should stay focused on the race. We saw people in the Olympics, they'll lose their shoe and still run to the finish line. That's what you're doing for us. Thank you very much. You are teaching us to win. You are teaching us. Oh, we're going to win. Thank you. A great example. And we love you endlessly. Tonight, we declared it that we love you endlessly. No end to our love. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Julie Wynn, my dear, you want to say a couple of words? Julie we Wynn. win with Julie Wynn. We win yeah. with Julie Wynn. Thank you so Talk much. That, much. Yeah. <laughs> um, hello, Brother Ash. Hello. I've seen you. I see the glow in you. Um, despise the fact that you and your family had gone through such a deep impact and such a tra tragedy. Um, I'd like to send my condolences to you and your family. Uh, so does Terry Thompson. Um, it's very hard to hear. However, we believe in God. And, and I think tonight we all talk about God. Is we do believe in God. And sometimes we don't know what God is doing or God, what's God won. Um, but all we do is just go with what he decide and and yes he always obviously taking away a beautiful soul and i know that your nephew probably going through some suffering at that point um but he is in the good place um my condolences and prayers are to your sister and your mom and i do hope that all the beautiful four years of memories that they have together with um, your nephew, they would treasure that and continue his, his he will continue to live on. Um, it is hard to, for the young one to leave before, you know, the adult. So I like to send the condolences to your family and continue to pray so that God can open his arms and comfort your sister and your mom as well. Um, as far as um, where we are in on passive, there's not a moment in life since I understood on passive, since I get to know on passive, um, I'm always here, stay true to the vision, the mission. And on passive is a very bright light of hope in my life. And I continue to live it. And I will continue to share that light with other people around me. And so if you really see these lights, these light from the people that believe in this mission that has that strong hope of going to change people around them, stay open-minded and stay open arms and see the good in what people share. When they are coming on to share, they have a stories, they have stories to tell. And in that stories, and if you can just pick up one thing from the story that was told or the message that was spoke about, and if you are, doesn't matter what happened in our life, and there are some tragedies, the things that happen that I don't think that anything could measure. But they are still here. They're still talking about their dreams. They're still talking about their hope. And that is so huge. And the reason why they want to do that, 
the reason why we all want to do that, because we want to change our life. We want to change the life of the people that we love so dearly. And all I ask of everyone, we don't know what God wants us to do, but every single thing that we say, it's lead by the Spirit. It's lead by something within us. I believe the God within us. And I don't think if we can chop ourselves or open our brain, I don't think we can see that. But the way we leave, whatever behind our eyes, giving us the opportunity to share that to the world. So if you are listening to all the messages that we continuously share with you every single day, and I'm speaking about the people that online, the people that actually sharing this, if you are actually catch on to the things that we say, the stories that we tell, it will change your life. And the only way for you to do that is to shed all your negativity or the things that happen in your life because what happened in your life doesn't dictate and it doesn't determine the future so if we can just you know open doesn't matter what happened it won't determine your future it is all about us it's all about you it's your personality it's your brain it's only happened these eight inches around us and so i do hope that you know, no matter what happened, we can just zoom out or zoom in or look at a bigger picture. We can see it better. And it's going to make such a difference in our life, in the people around us. And so um, you, Mr. Ash Mufar, my brother Ash, like I said, said, you have inspired so many people. You have impacted so many people in the past six years. There's no one in this world can do that. And it's not just today. It's not just the next five years. It's going to be years and years and generations and generations to come. And the only thing that can let this on passive movement staying alive and continue to go, it's coming from every single one of us. There's hundreds, mm -hmm. thousands, and millions of people around the world. And it is happening in that moment when that message came to you, whatever that message is. And so mm -hmm. I do that mm -hmm. we could continue to join hands and more people will come and join hands with us. Okay. And so thank it's great. You, you, oh, background, uh, Julie, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, Mr. Johnson, were you here when Mr. Ash changed the name of our show? It went from let's go to what, everybody? Let's celebrate. I think celebrate. he's right. Celebrate. Let's celebrate. <laughs> yeah. So well, it's your uh, turn. Well, listen, listen. Ash Mafara is the greatest guy that I know. Uh, he's an absolute genius. When it comes to names, he's a big stinko. I'm sorry. But that's the <laughs> truth. He knows it. Uh, first of all, Ash, I... Um, hearing this, I did not hear about your nephew. Uh, sincere condolences. I, if some of you know, every once in a while, I let Ash know what I'm doing. If I'm going to be late or something like that, I'll give him a text. And I told him last night that I was going for a, um, a night boat ride with my brother. And he said, Chris, please be careful. Now I know why. So, uh, hey, man, listen, all of you are, are everything to me to Ash, to this company. Uh, you've all stuck together. You've all held your own. Uh, you all have beautiful words of wisdom. Ivy, I actually love that, writing down the 20 things. Every one of you had said something uh, that's touched, I think, Ash's heart, my heart, all of our hearts. Uh, most of you, all of you, have came together for a, a simple cause, is to change things for the world. Um, and I think that's a beautiful thing. Um, in, in my newspaper today, it says this is going down, this is going up, this is bad, this is, and it's in the garbage. I could turn on a webinar. I don't, I don't hear bad, good. I hear some sad stories, actually, of, of, of course. But I also see a bunch of people coming together to support each other. Uh, my heart goes out to Julie Pierre's daughter. Uh, and we're going to get through it. Like Ash says, we're all going to get through this, Julie. 
and anyone else that's got some tough things going out there, Sherry Dursaway, Tanya and Passive, happy birthday. Um, I enjoy doing that. Uh, actually, I got to I gotta talk to them every morning. I said, Marty, I got to wish them happy birthdays. We got some special folks. Sometimes I miss, miss uh, some because I don't see it on the Facebook. But um, listen, th this is the greatest thing you're, you're gonna, ever going to be part of. I don't care what anyone says. Uh, I myself get a lot of neg negativity. As a lot of you know, me and my brother, we don't get along on uh, a lot of things. Uh, but we had absolute blast the last two nights. And uh, I'm very thankful for that. Sometimes you gotta. Sometimes you gotta step up to the plate, like someone I know on here, and 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 patch things up. You know, say, hey, all right, let's just drop this and let's just move on. We are brothers. We are sisters. And no matter if we agree to disagree, which is the best way, we are in a company that's going to take us down the right path. As my son says, through the trials and tribula tribulations of what goes on in this world, and. Um, Ian's question, I did heard that earlier. What can Ash do? And man, I think uh, it was a great, a great, great question. But Ash Mafara, uh, I'll tell you what you're going to do. You got me, the bouncer, who will watch over constantly what's going on in group chats and crazy people. And I know I got all, you're looking at all the people that send me stuff that I might miss. Kristen, do you see this? You have. Marty DeGarmo just text, text me uh, and Brother Ash and said, we got some amazing people in this company, don't we? And, and I couldn't agree with them anymore. Uh, we, I've got to meet them. We've all got to meet them for me for the last four years. Uh, and I want to just say I'm proud of all of you. We've all witnessed in our families death, sickness, health, happiness, we are, we're basically all together all the time, living together and sharing each other. And that's what makes this company the more bigger heart. It's not just uh, Ash Mafara saying something. It's about people coming together and listening to what he's saying and uh, just, just adding to it. That's what makes the blood go to this heart even harder and faster. And there's no killing this. There's no, there's no dying here. Uh, Ash Mafara has pushed this and is going to keep pushing it. And he's going to keep going, not just for himself, but for all of us. And I like to remind people that every day. And I tell people, you know, if if, if you're not plugged in, you're not paying attention, you really make sense. You really don't know what's going on. I asked to plug in a little bit. Uh, when things get going, we'll have a little more access to find out what's happening. But I think right now we got, you know, a million people talking about what Ash says on a daily basis, sharing his, his videos uh, of what he wants, what he's doing. Not what he wants, what he's done. Let's get rid of the wants. Uh, he's doing this. It's a nonstop, big heart pumping operation that's just going to keep filling this world with, uh, with hope, with dreams, uh, and absolutely beautiful things. So I'm not going to keep rambling. I'm sunburned, as you can see. Uh, but again, my condolences to uh, Mr. Ash's nephew and anyone out there that's going through things. We're here for you no matter what in any religion. However you pray, we're here for you because it's about coming together. It's not about hating someone because of what they believe. Uh, and I, I think that all of us believe in the same thing here. And that is uh, Ash Mafar and a passive. And like I said, you hear it all the time, Brother Ash. I will follow him to the end. I think you, uh, I think you could see that. I think you've always seen that and felt that. Even though there's some stinky, pewy guys or, or girls out there that made it did did something bad, we don't care. Um, uh, karma, karma is a wonderful thing, and uh, I believe in the future. We might see a few negative people in here, but but that's okay. We bounce off negativity and just move forward. Ash Bafar, thank you very much. Uh, Mino Ron, thank you for having me. I'm sorry I'm late. Hey, uh, have a good holiday weekend, all you Americans out there. Uh, it's Labor Day weekend, I think it is. And uh, enjoy, because actually, there's going to be a new holiday. You know, Labor Day was built for the workers, the the, the ding-dongs that who want to work 80, 140 hours a week. Uh, I think he's going to come up with a new holiday for a passive, and I'm not letting him name it, because I know it's going to be a stinko. I'll come up with that name. <laughs> But I, God bless every one of you. I love you all. Thank you very much, Benona. Thank you, Chris. Thank you so much. Now America Thanks, can say Chris. bye.
Finally, we heard you. Thank you. Yeah, really. But Thank hey, you, 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 you. are you are you sure you're in, in America now? Because you sound like, because you said, I think it's Labor Day in America. But, well, I forget. Yeah. What, you know, are it's you it's, sure? Wait a minute. Since the sun, no, the no. sun fried his brain. No, since I retired, I honestly, <laughs> let me tell you something. I'm past Vivian's. When this happens and you get to the point where you can retire, you really do forget about time, holidays. And it's amazing because I I always work through holidays anyway. So uh, I never really thought about it. But now I never think about it because of the time and freedom that I have now. And I want you to share through me the experiences I'm having. You are going to have the same thing. And you are going to love it. Let me tell you that. Thanks, Ash. <laughs> Thank you, Chris, for sharing your beautiful moments and freedom and time on the boat, everywhere with us. It feels like you're sharing it with us and we're there with you. So thank you. I don't know if I'd go on a boat with him. <laughs> anyways, two more people, two more people, and that'll be it. Myra, go ahead. Share something with us real quick, Mr. Ash. Thank you so much, Ron, and thank you, Mino. And I, I apologize, I'm in Boston now visiting my daughter. They're having a party. And you know how that goes with Dominican people. <laughs> so, but I didn't want to miss. I said to my daughter, please take me back soon. Please. Dominican are mostly in Lawrence, right? Just express my, my sentiments. Oh, and I just wanted to say, I say hello to everybody and say hello to Mr. Ash Mufara. I just want to say how much how much I feel about this company, how faithful I am to the company, how, how proud I am to the company, and how much I want to do to help humanity rise. Because it's not only going to be a personal level, you know, rising type of thing. I really want to do this because I want to help, because I was born with that DNA of helping others, and I cannot change it for no one, for nobody. Nothing ever is going to happen that's going to change my mind when I mean to help humanity, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And I just thank Ash Mufara for this opportunity that I never saw possible in my life. And it's here now. And I just wanted to be present, say everything that I need to say. And it's please, let's stay together. Let's stay supporting this wonderful company, the big mission of Ash Mufara. We need to change the world. It's just time to change the world. Things have been done the wrong way for too long. Eons, eons, if you know millions of years, we had to change. And everything had to change for the best of humanity if we wanted to continue, you know, our journey and bring a better things for humanity and the next future generations in this planet. We had to rise in consciousness. We had to forget divisions. And I'm sorry I'm going to say that, religion, politics, all that divide humanity. We had to stay together, be, you know, just human and forget the rest, all the other all laws that people in the wrong politicians and whatever, the elite had made all these years. We had to stay together, keep it together. We really had to do that in order to make things possible. Let's stay together and support our, the vision of Mr. Raj Mufara. And let's stay together because we all one. We all the same. I'm sorry, guys. I came a little late. Ash, I do apologize. Way. Okay. I love you Thank all, you. and Thank I you love you. my CEO. That's for sure. <laughs> Party <Thank> time. Let's <laughs> <you. laughs> like weekend, everybody. Let's have some fun. Okay. Just good things. Viva are. Republica Dominicana. Viva la República Dominicana. Viva Ash Mufara. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you so much for accepting me so late. She has started her Spanish spoken videos, uh, Mr. Ash, for Spanish communities. Sí, muchos mucho videos voy a hacer, Mr. Ash Mufara, para la humanidad, porque quiero ayudar mucho. Yo adoro mi país, pero también adoro lo correcto. Y siempre voy a soportar lo que está bien hecho con ética, con amor para la humanidad. Y el mundo tiene que cambiar. Gracias, señor Mufara. Lo adoro. Gracias. Thank you. Buen trabajo. Good deal. Thank you, Myra, very much. Okay, I didn't recognize the guy with a white t-shirt. Uh, he said all the colors. So, uh, Mamadou, you were supposed to be the last one. Go ahead. Mamadou. Yeah. 
Hey, big brother. Big brother, Mr. Ash. How are you? Yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. You, sir. Thank you very much. How come he's not an uncle? <laughs> no, <laughs> he's my big brother. No, he's oh, you okay. are Uncle Ron. <laughs> okay. Um, first of all, I just want to extend my sincere condolence to you and your family for the for your loss. And also just to express my thanks and appreciation to you, Mr. Ash, your family, the tech team, and the staff that have been with you all this time, and for everything you've done and still doing for us. You know, may God Almighty bless you all. I don't have much to say, just to thank you because what you are doing for us, you know, only God that can reward you. But the little things we can is just to express our thanks and appreciation to you. May God continue uh, to guide and God bless you too. And we're doing it together. Uh, yeah. uh, I'm not doing it alone, so I can't do it without you. Yes. All right, thank, thank you, you Mama Dew. Keith, you're welcome. you are you are definitely the last one. So we'll give Keith. you a couple of minutes here. The man thank in you. the van. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Um again, yes, my oh, yes, it's, be, a, it's a truck, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> it's a um, it's um, yes, it's SUV. Yes, four 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 wheel drive. Yeah. What I thought, yeah, yeah. You so see, you gave me this name, driver leader, driver leader. Now, so I'm stuck with that that name now, driver leader. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you, but but great. But Ash, yeah, yeah. My my condolences to you and your family, of course, and um, also to the pair and uh, what what have you going through, and all those are going through stuff. I really, you know, send my prayers your way. Um, but you know, I did a song. I'm just doing a little quick for for everyone here. You know, it was inspired by, of course, you, Ash. You didn't know, but now you know. <laughs> see you at the top. Oh, oh, see you at the top. See you at the top. It's AI with heart. It's AI with heart. It's AI with heart. Right from the side and see you at the top. Oh, we gon' see you at the top. We gon' see you at the top. See you at the top. We're in it to win it. Oh, we in it to win it. We're in it to win it. Oh, everybody is gonna win. Oh, everybody. It's gonna win. Everybody is gonna win. We say, say thank you, Ash. We say, say thank you, Ash. We say, say thank you, Ash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a great oh, ending. Right. That was flavorful. All thank right. you. <laughs> Love it. A lot, of soul. A lot of soul in that, Keith. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very yes, much. You All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been an awesome night tonight. I want to thank everybody for coming. And uh, I want to thank Marty for streaming. Uh, I don't know what the final total was of people that were watching, but uh, 17. there was... Uh, 17. <laughs> and that's before Chris got here, right? I'm still growing. <laughs> it's still yeah. growing. But, uh, Thank you, Ash, for showing up. Especially, ex yeah, especially, Ash, we appreciate you taking the time and coming and uh, speaking with us and sharing from your heart like you always do. Uh, you do mean a lot to everybody in this business. And it's just not because of the business. It's because of you and who you are and what you bring to us and show us. So uh, thank you very much for coming. And uh, 
I want to say God bless everybody here. God bless everybody in our passive. And God bless the United States of America. Good night, everybody. Thank you, Love you all. Thank you, Thank you, everyone. Ash is going to say something. I just want to thank you for your uh, time and, and all the good things you've said. And thank you for putting up with us. Amen. You're most welcome. Just keep doing it. Love you, Ash. Thank you, Ash. Love you, love you too. Good night, Ash. We love you, brother. We love you, everyone.